What do you want? You sure? My goodness. What is going on here? And what does it look like? Hmm? So it, okay, it has gotten to a point you bring in a prostitute into our family house and shamelessly make out with her in our father's private living room. I beg your pardon. And who is the prostitute here? And who asked you to talk? Please and please. I wouldn't have you insult me. If you aren't a prostitute, then what are you? If there's any prostitute here, then it's you, not me. Hey, 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 now you listen here, okay? I will not have you. Hey, hey, hey. What do you want to do to her? Asani, what do you want to do to my woman? Woman. What in God's name is wrong with you? Wait, you, you mean you'd rather have a stranger insult your sister? In front of you. How senseless could that be? You call me senseless? Of course that is senseless. Listen. Hey. Hey guy, let me tell you something, okay? I've tolerated your excesses. It doesn't mean I don't know what to do. So what will you do to me? Hey you, what are you still doing here? Get out! Hey, 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 hey. Get out! She's going nowhere. Oh yes, yeah, she would leave this house. She would not leave this house. If there's anyone to leave, it's this toy boy that you brought in here. You are the one to leave. She will not leave. Huh? What do you want to do to me? Tell me! Do it! Let me see. Baby, let's go upstairs. Huh? Sorry, she's Sorry. Babe, I tell you, this is juvenile delinquency. I tell you, that is it. Just, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Mm. Mm. Um, it's all for now. Okay. okay. All right. Doctor, okay. how is the leg? As you can see, the bullet did not affect the femoral artery, so he's in good condition. So when can he walk without an aid? Well, soon. Very soon. It's just a matter of time, within a week or even less. Are you sure? Yes, madam, I'm sure. Um, he has to take his medications and follow the due medical advice. That's all. Okay, well, thank you, doctor. Please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. We have to see the pharmacist when you're leaving. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Thank you. Right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. My love. Yeah? How do you feel now? Oh, you heard the doctor. I mean, I, f I feel better than last week. Yes. I'm glad. Because I'm worried. You worry too much. Relax. I'm good. Okay. I mean, it's just my leg, not another place that was short. <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's go. Can you help me put on my. But I thought you said you okay. No, come on now. Come on. Let's start from here.
Excuse me? What are you doing? Excuse you? Yes, what are you doing, please? What I'm doing? Yes. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Eh? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I don't understand. You don't understand? No, I don't. Well, let me make it clear to you. It's been two weeks we buried our father. What are you still doing here? Eh? What are you still doing here? Like I said, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand what you're saying. I know you will not understand what I'm saying because you have fish brain. Well, let me make it clear to you for you to understand. I can't fathom why a full-grown man will be seated in another man's house doing nothing, eating food morning, afternoon and night without even contributing, without even paying, a, paying the bills. Eh? What are you doing here? My father is late and buried. What are you still doing in his house? Don't you have a house? Go back to your own house. Did you hear what I said? If you want to have anything to do with my sister, I am not against it. But do it from your own house. You are a man. Go back to your father's house. Go back to your own house, Olga. Look. Ibuka. Ibuka. Ibuka, listen. Ibuka, even though you don't like me, at least Kotsi demands that you should consider my situation right now. Really? Yes. Yes. Well, let me tell you something. I am out of the picture. Oh, yes! You will not manipulate me as you're doing to Zara. Did you hear what I said? Oh, go get my lab and no one there. Oh, more. Balusiana Fuaya. Okay, more. You know, go work for me. Did you hear what I said? Go back to your father's house. Seeing you here irritates me every day. You don't want to, I don't understand. Now, now, so, now, now so you do your own show free. You follow my sister, you will be enjoying the food, enjoying everything in our own father's house. Are you okay? Let me tell you something. I don't want to see you here. I don't like you, okay? Go back to your own house. I don't want to see you here. Can I pay my with you? I don't want to see you. Why don't you go? Go back to your house. I don't like you too. No, I don't like it. The contract is still intact. You need to come to my office so that you can discuss properly. What is she reading? Uh, please, can I call you back? Yes, just a few minutes, I'll call you back. All right. Hey, Buka, what is it? I mean, the toy boy you've been hiding in this house. When is he leaving this house? The GK is my husband to be. Address him properly. Show some respect. After all, he's older than you are. I don't care if he's I don't care if he's older than I or not. What I'm saying is that I want him out of this house. Says Ebuka, I'll Luciana for I am. Did you hear what I said? I want him out. Father never liked him. I don't know what he's doing in this house. Ebuka, I don't know what has come over you. But I tell you what. AGK is not going anywhere. This house is big enough to accommodate everybody. Jesus. Father built this house for family and not for strangers. Did you get it? I want him out of this house or I will take drastic measures that will not be comfortable with you or anyone in this house. Did you hear what I said? Let him out. We don't want him in this house. I don't know what he's doing here. This house is choking with him around. If he does not leave this house, 
I will take him alive or dead. Ebuka! Ebuka! Please, can you kindly uh, help me get water? Please. Okay, bros. As what? Answer me, I said as what? Huh? Is he your housemate? Why will you send him to go and get you something? Huh? Oh, hey, shh! If you step an inch from here, I will kill your life. Eh? Huh? Hey, this stranger will send you to go and get something and you will move. Are you okay? What is it again? Are you here? Huh? I want you to warn this fool. Did you hear what I said? No, 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 don't. Don't. Allow me, allow me to talk. Allow me to talk, please. He should not be sending my brother to go and get him anything in this house. Did you get it? If there is anyone that should be going errands in this house, he should be the one, not him. Ibuka, what has come over you? Look at the way you are shouting, ranting. Can't we have a moment of peace in this house? Can't we? There will be no peace in this house until this traitor leaves this house. This is my father's house. We don't want him. I don't want him. Did you get it? My father did not like him. So what is he doing here? My father is late. He should leave. He's not going anywhere. Ejika and I will be getting married very soon. So he's here to stay. Okay. He's your husband to be. Fine. If you've resolved to settle with this loafer of a guy, I don't have a problem with that. But what I do not understand is the phrase, he has come to stay. Come to stay where? Ejika and I will be getting married very soon. And we're going to be staying in this house. Our wedding comes up immediately after our father's customary mourning period is over. Then you must be out of your mind to think that I will sit here and watch that happen. It's not going to happen. You want to get married to someone that father abhorred while he was alive. And to think that is not enough, you still want to harbor him in this house. It's not going to happen. I will not allow that happen. It eh? will also interest you to know, my dear younger brother, that our father blessed this union before his demise. Actually, his last wish is that we should move into this beautiful house after our wedding. <laughs> She's around my daughter. Yes, Dad. Hey, JK. Yes, I, I am sorry in any way I may have wronged you. I misjudged your person because I thought you were one of those boys trying to milk from another man's fat cow. But you have shown that I was wrong about you. The role you played in making sure that I get to this hospital, in spite of the fact that you sustained a bullet injury. And everything you have done cannot be ignored. I am deeply sorry. Sir, so sincerely, I hold no grudges against you. I personally understand your sentiments towards my relationship with your daughter. But um, the truth of the matter is, sir, is, I just wanted to be accepted as a son-in-law, of which I'm willing to do any and everything to please you, sir. What you did for me has shown how selfless you can be. And it is hard for living to give you my daughter's hand Because I know that my daughter will be in safe hands. Father, wait. What are you saying? You mean we can... Yes. yes. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, my love. <laughs> oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> but 
There's one more thing I need to ask of you, my children. I know I might not live here alive. No, Father. Father, please don't talk like that. You're recovering in no distant time. You will live here. Yes, sir. Please just stay positive. Nothing will happen to you. The truth is that it's not that I want to die. But I cannot run away from the inevitable. I have one, just one favor to ask of you. Chizara. Father. Please. I want you and educate to stay back in the house after your wedding. To look after your siblings and to put everything in proper order until they are strong enough to stand on their own. All right, Father. That won't be a problem. I'll carry out your request. But like I said before, you're not going anywhere. Nothing will happen to you. <laughs> Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, Father. Thank you. So happy. Thank you, sir. Lies! Never! It's not going to happen. Eh? I know that you both are manipulative agents. It's not going to happen at all. I will not allow that happen. I know my father too well. I know that he will not approve this idiot to marry you. It's not possible. Let me tell you, I am the father of the house at the moment. It is my regime. And whatever I say stands. You're not going to marry him. Even if you are getting married to him, it will not be under this roof. It will not happen. You both will not live here. Let me see you in my father's house. You have to leave my father's house. Yes! I'm I'll be here and leave here. He can leave here by fire. I'm going to leave here. Oh, God. Oh, God. You will leave my house. I fire my force. I will send him somewhere. It's okay, bro. So sweet. And I said kindly. Didn't I say that? It's okay. Who's that cautious? I mean, what? what, what? Sweetheart. It's okay, my love. Hmm? I know why he's ranting. <laughs> Emmy, please get him water to drink. It's okay. I'm coming, bro. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So how is the leg now? Yeah, it, um, it's getting better. The, the doctor said the pain of the liver, you know, would work. It's actually doing so. Yeah. Ah, uh, easy. Hello, love. <laughs> you ought to be early today, you know. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting. <laughs> Take care. Bye. I heard she was rushed here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, how is she? What's going on? You just have to calm down, Mr. EGK. Yes. You just have to calm down. Okay. What do you mean I have to calm down? Oh God, talk to me. Calm down. Just be a man. Okay, the thing here is she lost the pregnancy. What? Yes. She what? You just have to calm down. Okay. She what? She lost the pregnancy. My God. My God. Oh! Okay, Ejike, you have to calm down. You have to put yourself together. Please, put yourself together. Okay? You see, um, Ejike, this is the time she needs you most. Okay? You have to do everything to make her happy. 
Um, AJK, you have to go in now and be with her. She needs you at the moment. Okay? Doctor, where is she? Okay, um, AJK, she's in the private ward. but crying your eyeballs out will not turn back the hands of time. It won't change anything. So please, let's be strong. Please. Why do I have to lose my first pregnancy? My first child. My first fruit. My bundle of joy. It hurts, AGK, it hurts. I know. I know it hurts. But as it hurts you too, it hurts me. I'm affected too. But like I said, we just have to be strong, please. You don't understand. You don't know how I felt when the doctor confirmed I was pregnant. The feeling, the joy. You don't understand. Please, please. You might think I don't understand, but I so do understand. I mean, do you think I'm happy? You think I'm happy I've lost the first fruit from my loins? First pregnancy? Of course not. But what can I do? But be strong. And I'm telling you, my beautiful wife, you're going to get pregnant again. I don't want another pregnancy. I want my Kamsi Yochuku. I want to give birth to her. I want to carry her in my arms. No, 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 no. Is that too much it to ask? Not. It is not. It is not. It is not. Okay, but we cannot question God. We cannot. Okay? He's the author and finisher of our fate. We cannot. Wait, Kamsi Yochu who didn't come now, maybe because God said it's not the right time and at the right time she will come. <coughs> Kamsi Yochuku will come. Okay? So please, please, just be strong, okay? And you have as many Kamsi Yochukus as you want. Please. Please. Please, it's okay. Yeah. Ma, see who we have here. What a pleasant surprise. So surprised to see you in my office today. Or is that you mean I shouldn't have come? No, but you've not come to my office before. So it's not strange if I am surprised. Please do sit. Oh, it's okay. Um, please, um, I want you to come down. Necessary, please, and treat. That's not the reason I'm here. So, why did you come? I want to see my father. Now. What did you just say? You heard me loud and clear. I want to see my father's will. Or, don't I have the right to see my father's will? Of course you do, but that should be at the appropriate time. My world has time but to do with me seeing my family. Everything, everything will do things accordingly. You see, these are still the days of money for your family. And until the days of money are over, nobody sees the way. Uh, does that matter? Eh? I want to see the film. It does. Honestly, it does. If, if that is why you are here, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You cannot see the way. Um, Paris, I, don't, I do not want to have any issues with you, right? I demand I see that will. 
since you said uh, it's, uh, we see one time for money and all that, okay, no problem. But I'll give you one week. One week, I'll come back. By then, I'm sure we must have finished morning, so I will see the wheel. Else, you'll have problem with me, and you will not like it. Yes, we have closed the deal with the oil firm. We are waiting for their mobilization so we can start building their estates. Yes, you know my late father did a great job. As regards to all the achievements we have recorded over the years. And we are not just trying to keep up with the standards, but to take the company to a greater height. <laughs> Oh yes, my dear, we need all the luck in the world right now. Thank you so much. All right, take care of yourself. Bye. Hello, ma'am. There you go again with your... Hello, ma'am. You are my friend and it's just both of us in this office. I'm constantly demands that all protocols must be duly observed. Regardless, you are still my boss. Have you forgotten? And you are still my friend. Have you forgotten? <laughs> Please sit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, congratulations, Zara. I knew it wasn't easy to get the job done, but you are such a superstar. You pulled it up, girl, and I'm super proud of you. Well, my friend, congratulations to us. It was a collective effort. And we all did our best. Yes, I know. <laughs> but it still wouldn't have been possible without your indescribable leadership qualities. Our late chairman, I mean your father, was a great man. But having you as our current head, I see a greater future for this establishment. <laughs> Zara, you are not just beautiful and intelligent. I mean, you are a wonder woman. And I see us doing better. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you so much, my good friend. You know you have you have a way with words. <laughs> Thank you. Okay now, I brought this for you. Okay, let me see what you have here. You're doing well. <laughs> Nice one. Okay, I'll let you go for it until I, I get back to work. All right, then. See you later. Thank you. Baby, yeah, they say I don't go look. Every day I they think about you. I know I say I don't go live without you. And anyway, you did. Not there, I don't want to go. Cause your love would dip on like fire. It is sweet in my body like sugar. Sweet lover. You captured my heart. Bad girl, right? Mm -hmm. Is anyone complaining? Not really. Men like her don't complain. You know that, right? I take this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I Why thought that's much. <laughs> don't take like more. that. No, no, no. I don't want. You don't want to it. take more. Mm. What do you want? You sure? Mm. Mm. My goodness! What is going on here? Now, what does it look like? Hmm? So, it, Buka, it has gotten to a point you bring in a prostitute into our family house and shamelessly make out with her in our father's private living room. I beg your pardon, and who is the prostitute here? And who asked you to talk? Please and please, I wouldn't have you insult me. If you aren't a prostitute, then what are you? If there's any prostitute here, then it's you, not me. Hey, 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 now you listen here, okay? I will not have you. Hey, hey, hey. What do you want to do to her? Asani, what do you want to do to my woman? A woman. 
happen? What in God's name is wrong with you? Wait, you, you mean you rather have a stranger insult your sister in front of you? How senseless could that be? You call me senseless? Of course that is senseless. Hey! hey guy, let me tell you something, okay? I've tolerated your excesses. It doesn't mean I don't know what to do. So what will you do to me? Hey, you! What are you still doing here? Get out! Hey, 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 hey. Get out! She's going nowhere. Oh, if yes, she will leave this house. She will not leave this house. If there's anyone to leave, it's this toy boy that you brought in here. You are the one to leave. She will not leave. Huh? What do you want to do to me? Tell me! Do it! Let me see. Baby, let's go upstairs. Huh? Sorry, she's Sorry. Good. Babe, I tell you, this is juvenile delinquency. I tell you, that is it. Just, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Baby girl for like. Mm. What's up? Who is that? Brother, it's me. Who? Who are you? It's me, America. America? Okay. What do you want? Sister Cheese asked me to call you. What? Sister Cheese asked me to call you. Hey! Will you get out of that place now? Okay, hey, 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 hey. Tell her that I'm busy with an important meeting. I'm busy with my business. Did you hear what I said? Out! Nonsense. Can you imagine? What nonsense? Who does she even think she is trying to boss you around like some sort of houseboy? Your sister is so annoying. Hey, babe. Come. Um, please. You have to watch your tongue, right? It's my sister we are talking about here. I'm sorry, babe. I'm really sorry. It's fine. I think I will go and see her now. I'll be back soon, okay? Baby, don't have to go. We're having fun. I want to keep me hanging. I know, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, okay? I will see her shortly and then I'll be back for us to continue. I can't wait to devour you. You can say that again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, baby. I'm waiting. All right, babe. Um. Sent for me. What is it? Sit. Hey, I'm not ready for all this. I have something I'm attending to inside too. Tell me what is it, please. Sit. Please. All right. Fine. So, what is it? Ebuka, you are my brother. And you know I can't deceive you. I don't get it. You called me out here to tell me that I'm your brother. I know that I'm your brother, so what is it? Tell me what you want to say. I have something I'm Our parents you. brought us up in a responsible way. But what you did today, or rather what you're doing, 
a far cry from that. Oh. Your point? It is irresponsible of you to bring in a prostitute or whatever she's called into our family house. Mm. Yes. Our father wouldn't have clapped for you if he were to be here today. Okay. Fine. I heard you. But I want to ask you, what would father say or do to you for bringing in someone he forbade you from seeing into his house? Ask her me that. If we have told you times without number, our father blessed our union. As a matter of fact, he said we should move into this house after our marriage. You think I was lying? Yes. I know you are lying. Oh, you want me to believe this your cock and bull story? Not me. I know our father. He's not someone that you push around. He's not someone that changes his stance over something just like that. Okay. Let me assume that what you're saying is the truth. He said you should bring in your husband after marriage. What is going on now? Are you married to him now or not? Oh, please. What is he doing here? Please, Ebuka, stop asking unnecessary questions. You know why EJK is here. Ah, I know. <laughs> you brought in your Be the lousy boyfriend into our father's house. Watch it. Please don't watch it. To massage you every night. And you're angry that I'm doing the same. Should I call that jealousy? Jealousy? Of what exactly? Listen, Ibuka. Go in there and send that prostitute out of our family house this minute. I will not do that. You will! Hey, let me spell this out for you. I am the man of the house. I decide who stays and who leaves. And as I'm speaking to you now, I want that idiot out of my father's house. I will not repeat myself. I have something I'm attending to. Don't stand on my way because you can't stop me. Send him out of my father's house. He does not belong here. Let us come over here. Benjamin, what are you doing here? I came to see you. See me for what? You're not supposed to be here. Why? Ben, I'm a married woman. I can't seem to see any ring on your finger. Well, soon to be a married woman. Even when we know that your late father never approved of him. Who told you that? Let's just say that I have my ears on the ground. Well, you have the wrong information. I'll soon be getting married. And I wouldn't want you to bring problems between me and my husband. Do you love him? Where is that question coming from? Ask oh, me. Do you love him? The same way you loved him? Does he make you feel the same way I made you feel? Snap out of it, Benjamin. Stop living in the past. As you can see, I have moved on. I suggest you do so. No, no, no. I can't seem to love another if not you. Hmm. And I, I cannot just keep up on you just like that. 
Can't you see? Mm. How sweet. Yet you cheated on me, not once, not twice, but three good times, excluding the ones I didn't see. And here you are in my office telling me how much you love me. I admit it. I admit that I messed up. I wasn't true with my words. I betrayed the trust and the love you have for me. But that doesn't change the fact that I still love you. I was stupid, foolish, and childish. But I still love you. I have come to realize my mistakes and I want to correct them. Please. Well, my dear, it's too late. I belong to someone else now. And yes, I love him. I know deep down in your heart. You still love me. But my mistakes is making it so impossible for you to admit it. But I promise you this. I will never stop loving you. If it is not you, I can love another. Do have a wonderful day. My late father's clothes. Has he gotten to that? Excuse eh? me. Excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse me. What are you the talking? Jewelry and the, 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 the clothes you're wearing on. Who who owns it? What are you talking about? I mean, who gave you the right to wear my late father's clothes? And you're talking about what you're talking about? She gave everything to me. I mean, what, I don't who, who is she? Who is she? Of course you know who is she. What what's this? Jesus. What's this? What's I don't understand what is going on in this house. Mm -hmm. eh? Who gave this idiot the right to wear my late father's clothes? Eh? You just called my husband and he took the phone. Who gave him the right to wear these clothes? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you and you're, 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 you're talking nonsense. When I gave him the permission to wear and use Without my consent? I don't get it. You, you learn to do things in this house without my consent? Eh? Sorry, who are you again? Did I remind you that I am your elder sister, the first child of our father? I have every right to do whatever I want with our father's property. Gee, sir. Gee, sir. I am the first son to late Chief Ezugu. And tradition and culture gives me every right to do whatever thing I am doing now. As the first son, Omoa Diopara. Did you get it? I says, when did you start listening to what tradition and culture says, Mr. Diopara? Since when? Oh, you expect me to answer that? You expect me to answer that? Listen and listen very good. Like I said before, I am your elder sister, the first child. I am in charge. It is my duty to take care of you and everything our father owns, unless his will says otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Let's watch and see. Let it is my duty to take care of you, Undertaker. Let's watch and see. Let's go. I am in charge. Let's go. Let me show you. 
I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go Isn't it high time you read the wheel and save everyone distress? I beg your pardon? What has my pardon got to do with you reading the wheel? Now listen young man, this is an office. I demand you have a degree of respect for this office. You don't barge into my office and talk to me in that manner. I hope you are still normal. If you are not, I suggest you go to the psychiatric hospital. Please. Oh really? This is what you got to say, right? One more organic outlast from you. I am going to call the security operatives to throw you out of this place. Mm. Yes. You are talking to a law practitioner. Well, I'm not here for this. I want to remind you what you said. You said, Barrister, that you will read the will immediately after the customary mourning period. What is holding you? Huh? Well, if you must know, I am coming over to the family house this weekend for the official reading of the will. Uh -huh. So you, you, you save yourself the drama. Now you have said something that I want to hear. I have a question for you. Why should we wait till weekend? Today is Monday. Why not today? Tomorrow. Are you really you trying to teach me how to do my job? Is that what you're trying to do? No, I'm telling you to read my father's will. That's what I'm telling you, Parasan. Huh? Mr. Ebuka, I want you to leave this office now. Uh, okay. Now what? Let weekend be weekend. You know why I'm leaving quiet? Right? Because I want you to read that will. If not, if not, what one man? Abu Alusiana Fuaya. Okay, Mona Joka. We can't read that will. Else, you hear from me. I will leave. Tonya, please come immediately. Thank you. Ma'am, you, you called me? Yes, I did. Are you okay? Is everything alright with you? No. I've been having this feeling since. Oh my god. Your face is dull. I, th I think you need to see a doctor. That's why I called you. 
Okay. Is my brother in his office? No, I haven't seen him since morning. Okay. I want to go to the hospital, but I don't think I'll be returning to the office. So, go through this file and give me your report in the morning. Okay, I sure will. Oh, do you need a hand? No, I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'll be fine. Okay. I will drop by. I'll drop by later to, to check up on you after work. That would be nice. See you tomorrow. Are, are you sure you, you, you'll be fine? Yes, I'll manage. It's not a problem, Doctor. Okay. So, uh, is the result out? Uh, yes, yes, it's out. So, what is wrong with me? Well, Ma, you are okay. You are very much aware nothing is wrong with you. <laughs> doctor, how can you say that I'm okay when I feel sick? Uh, do you need to rerun the test? No, 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 no. There's, there's no need for that. Um, let's just say this is a good sickness, as most of you would say. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. <laughs> oh my goodness. He will hear. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate it. Thank you. God is good. Oh, wow. You know, I kind of suspected it's just that I didn't want to give you false hope. Well, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, my dear Tonya. I mean, after I lost the last pregnancy, I, I was waiting and hoping before this one came. And now it has wiped away the scars of the one I lost. Of course. I'm grateful. Very happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, uh, look at who we have here. Hi. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm fine. <laughs> wow. Why not we go inside so that um, I entertain you no, so well? That won't be necessary. As you can see, I'm already on my way. Oh, really? Okay. Very well, then let me drop you off. Um, <laughs> no, 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 my Uber is around. Yeah. Uh, mm. Wait. Okay. Is that the one calling me? Mm. Yeah, I think he's here already. I'll be on my way then. Take care of yourself and then. Sure. Bye. Bye. Hey, Buka. You weren't seen at the office today. What happened? Mind your business. But this is my business. Ebuka, come back here. I'm talking to you, Ebuka. Stop This is my business and you have to listen to me. Chesala, what is your problem? Why are you bugging my life? I'm not bugging you, Ebuka. I just know why you have refused coming to the office lately. Okay, fine. Your attention was needed at the office today as the HR. Well, you will know where to be found. Well, uh, that company is my company, right? So I have the right to come to work anytime I didn't fit, okay? Is that another thing? Because I want to go. So this is how you want to run your company? Was this how father was able to build this company? to this level? You know, I relaxed 
the suspension that Father gave to you, thinking that you have changed. But it appears that I was wrong. Mm. Mm. I see. I can see that you still have the power to knock, even with your pregnancy. Well, let me make it clear to you. You will lose this pregnancy again, since you haven't learned your lessons. And what do you mean by that? You heard me loud and clear. Well, at least I forget. Barista will be visiting. He will be coming by weekend to read the wheel. By then I'm sure you will stay away from my business when I inherit all my father's properties. My rightful inheritance. Don't joke with me. Right? You want to keep this? Don't joke with me. <laughs> oh yeah wow <laughs> okay uh, my love that reminds me yes the barrister called oh really yes okay. he'll be coming this weekend to read the wheel oh finally finally uh it's about time it's really about time so you know my wife can rest and concentrate a whole lot more let her emotions kind of calm down huh Yes, baby. And if everything goes well, you will get engaged with the company. <laughs> well, uh, uh, well, that would be nice, but uh, I don't think that's the most important thing now, okay? Sweetie, it's very important. I mean, it's beginning to choke me. <laughs> Honey, relax, okay? I think the first things first, you should withdraw your scale of preference. Let the will be read first of all, all right? Other things can't wait. Okay, speaking of which, speaking of which, my wife was supposed to go for checkup today at the hospital. How did it go? Okay, about that. Okay. 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 Hey! Baby! <laughs> baby! Yes. Five weeks! Five! Five weeks pregnant! <laughs> <laughs> baby! Baby, I told you. Sweetheart. Yes. Another come see your chuku is growing inside me. I know, I know. I told you you were going to make it. I told you. You said so. I told you. Relax. Huh? This one will stay. Huh? I love this one. I love you. 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 Okay? I love you so much. Baby. I can't wait to carry my Don't baby in my arms. Your baby in your arms. Relax. It's going to happen. Okay? Baby, yeah. They say I don't go low Every day I do think about you I know say I don't go live without you And anywhere you dare Not there I want to go Cause your love would dip on like fire It is sweet in my body like sugar Sweet lover You captured my a pleasure marrying you was the biggest achievement of my life and having my seed grow inside of you is the most treasurable gift i would ever receive the flower is just to thank you for making me a man for loving me and for all the sacrifices please 
send me well to come see Yochuku. Tell him that he loves him. I love you, my lucky charm. I love you too, baby. Come see my little one. Daddy sends his greetings. He can't wait to welcome you into this world, just like me. And I know you can't wait to meet mommy and daddy, right? I guess the answer is yes. That means we are on the same page. I love you, my little one. I'm tired. My house is becoming so boring. Can you believe that my sister now questions every of my movements? What? As in what? No, no. As your father or what? Eh? Doesn't she realize you are the first son there? Mm -hmm. mm. I'm now the second son. I don't understand. Uh, if you're not the first son, then who? Who is now the first son if not you? That her foolish and stupid husband, of course. Isn't it obvious that she's trying to move the mantle to him? Mm. I think you are right. Ebuka, you are right. Maybe she wants to use her position in your father's company to put that guy ahead of you if you don't take time. If you don't take time, it will happen. That will never happen. I said it will not happen. Not when I'm alive. She can try. Yes, I know. But that's the limit she can go. You see, all this nonsense is because um, the barrister is yet to read the will. Uh, but I don't know why you're not doing anything about it. You know me now. You're not doing anything about it. If you sit up, when they sit up, the girl who told you I'm not doing anything about it. I am doing something about it. As a matter of fact, the barrister said he will be coming by weekend to read the wheel. That was because I was on his neck. Hey, hey Buka, now you are talking. Yeah? Now you are talking. Now you are acting like a street guy you are. Yeah? See, with this one now, eh, everybody will know their limit in that house. One day, Muranya Kazu. With this one now, Everybody will know their limits. This is why you're smiling. I don't understand. One minute. Hello, babe. Are you in the hotel already? Oh, really? Okay, I'll be there shortly. Right? I know. Don't worry. I'll, I'll keep you waiting. I'm coming, okay? I love you. <laughs> All right. Ebuka ne wewu. Ebuka, you love changing oil. In our wap manu steady. I will leave you now. Uh, um, see, you know, today is Friday. Catch fun, but be safe. Be safe. Oh, yeah. Which I'm there. All right. I'm gonna be mum. I lose ana for ya. Oh, we are. I'm gonna udo.
No! 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 Not again! Not again! No! Again? Again? Baby, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Baby, it's okay. Let's go wash your It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Madam, you have to calm down. Doctor, please, please, don't tell me to calm down. How do you expect me to be calm in this kind of condition? What is wrong with me? Why am I having a series of miscarriages? What is the problem? There are many reasons miscarriages can occur. If a miscarriage happens in the first three months of the pregnancy, which is the case here, we usually suspect an issue with the chromosome of the fetus. So, Doctor, what are you saying? Are you saying that everything you have mentioned right now are responsible? There are other causes, like excessive intake of alcohol, smoking, and hard drugs. Do My husband can attest to that. I don't smoke, I don't take hard drugs, I don't take caffeine. I hardly, t I don't even take alcohol. Of course, Doctor. Baby, you know. Of course. I mean, I know my wife, and she never indulges in any of these vices. In that case, I will have to refer her to a gynecologist. I don't have a choice, whatever. I just want to be forward. I just, I just don't want to give birth to my own child. I can't continue like this. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, good, good. Um, doctor, I'll just advise um, you tell us where to go. I mean, make the necessary arrangements because we are right now very impatient. I will book an appointment as soon as possible and let you know. Thank you. to me what is it it has happened again pardon I don't get oh, what has happened again I have lost my pregnancy again how Happen. I don't know. I can't explain it. I, I just woke up and saw it. And and and. Oh my God! I, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I I perfectly understand how you feel right now. But did you see the doctor? What did he say? Nothing. Nothing. I don't get you. What do you mean by nothing? The doctor said I am medically sound. He didn't give any reason for the miscarriage. Which I am confused, Tonya. Is, is this how I'm going to end up? Does this mean that I'm not going to have my own child, no, my own baby? No, 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 no way. Don't ever say that again. Do not ever let that come out of your mouth again. Listen to me, Zara. You are not just going to have a baby. I mean, you are going to have babies. Your own baby, Zara. Okay? Listen to me. I do not like the way you are right now. You have to stop crying. I think at this point, you need to see a gynecologist. Alright? That's what my doctor said. 
He's arranged one for me already. We'll be meeting in two days. Fine! Then you, you don't need to worry. You, you're not supposed to be crying, okay? Dry up your tears. If your daughter said you're medically sound, trust me, you are medically sound. Okay? <laughs> Maybe I, I, I just feel is one or two, you know, do's and don'ts may have to help you correct. And there you are, you're good to go again. I just hope so. I just hope so because I don't know what will happen to my mental health if this happens again. Nothing will happen to your mental health. Zara, listen to me. You are a strong woman. Alright? You can pull pull out of this. You can pull through, alright? Listen, don't let this break you. Okay? You have to be very strong. It's not that easy. Today is not that easy. It's not that easy. Listen to me. It's not that easy. Zara, listen to me. Can you stop crying, please? You don't know who to turn to. You don't know who If what the gynecologist said is anything to go by, then the vessel is not the problem nor the seed. But what then could be the problem? There should be answers to this. Could this be a spiritual problem? <gasps> Wait a minute! Hey, Buka! I'm talking to you, Buka! Stop asking! Stop asking! This is my business and you have to listen to me! Chesala, what is your problem? Why are you bugging my life? I'm not bugging you, Buka. I just know why you have refused coming to the office lately. Okay, fine. Your attention was needed at the office today, as the HR. But you were nowhere to be found. Well, uh, that company is my company, right? So I have the right to come to work anytime I didn't fit, okay? Is that another thing? Because I want to go. So this is how you want to run your company? Was this how father was able to build this company to this level? You know, I relaxed the suspension that father gave to you, thinking that you have changed. But it appears that I was wrong. Mm. Mm. I see. I can see that you still have the power to knock, even with your pregnancy. Well, let me make it clear to you. You will lose this pregnancy again since you haven't learned your lessons. And what do you mean by that? You heard me loud and clear. Well, at least I forget. Barista will be visiting. He will be coming by weekend to read the wheel. By then, I'm sure you will stay away from my business when I inherit all my father's properties, my rightful inheritance. Don't joke with me. Right? You want to keep this? Don't joke with me. Ebuka responsible for my miscarriages. He made reference to my pregnancy in such a manner and I'd lost the pregnancy soon after. Could it be him? Or is this just a mere coincidence? No, no, I'm not sure that this is a coincidence. I think he knows something about this. Oh, come off it, Chizara. What are you saying? 
Ebuka is my brother and couldn't have possibly done something like that. God, God, I am confused. Should I tell my husband about this? No, never. This will further strain his relationship with Ebuka. God, what should I do? I would like to thank every one of you for being here today for this uh, epoch uh, meeting. Because I, I, I'm, I'm a barrister, please. I'm so sorry for cutting you short. But I thought this um, reading of the will is for the family alone. Yeah? Of course it is. So what is he doing here? Who? Educate. Uh, Ebuka. Educate here is already a member of this family. By the virtue of getting married to your sister. I, 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 I do not understand. Huh? The very one you want to read his will did not like him even while he was alive. Huh? I am sure he wouldn't want him to be here. So why are you allowing him to be here? Hey, Barrister. Barrister, please go ahead. Ebuka, my brother, has um, made himself a troublemaker. So I suggest you brief that aside and um, proceed. Thank you very much. So, my opinion has become inconsequential that you have to instruct him to move on? Ebuka, no one is saying that your opinions are inconsequential. The truth is that you have to accept the fact that AGK here is already a member of this family. As long as he remains a husband to your sister, he is a part of this family. Um, in the absence of every other distraction to this meeting, I, I think we have to go straight to the business of the day. Alright. I'm going to play a video on this telly by electronic transmission and I would like everyone to watch the video attentively because in there is your late father's will. Hey Barrister, what about the hard copy? Do you want to read my father's will through soft copy? I don't get it. Why didn't you print the hard copy of my father's will? Yes. This is a good question, I must admit. Uh, the truth is, when your father was alive, I tried to convince him to pen down his will. But he kept uh, procrastinating on the basis that it wasn't yet time. He, it's unfortunate that the appropriate time met him on the sick bed. So he had to do his will in an unconventional way. Chief, you have to stop talking this way. I believe you are not living yet. All you have to do is to be courageous. Have faith in God. You are coming out of this state stronger. Barrister, my friend. I like your consoling words. But the truth is that I'm very weak. I can feel my spirit leaving me. I'm not just saying it. My time on earth is almost coming to an end. And I need to use this last moment to put some certain things straight. I'm talking about my will. Chief, you and I know that uh, you are not in a perfect health condition for the details of the will now. I might not be mentally and physically fit to go through details. I don't plan to go through that path. I intend to do it in an unconventional way. Do you have your phone there? Of course I do. Okay, there are certain things I want to say. I would like you to do a virtual recording. 
how things will be done after I'm gone. So I I implore everyone to please watch the video. My children, I greet all of you. By the time you'll be seeing this video, I will be far gone. But I want you to know that I decided to use this medium to convey my will to you because of the state of my health. A situation I don't believe I can survive. I have not written any will before now. And since I don't have the time and strength for details, I will make this as brief as possible. I will entrust everything on Chisera to manage. She will be the CEO of the company. She will manage the funds and the affairs. At least until Iberia and Emeka must have been through with their university education. Then everyone can get their due with fairness and equity. I decided to give this responsibility to Chizara because of her unbiased nature and because of her prudence in spending. I know for sure that she will not spend my money traveling overseas, purchasing cars and houses. She will give everyone his fair share. And I expect all of you to give her maximum support. Thank you, my children. I love you so much. And I wish you success in all your endeavors. Bye. All right. What you just watch now is your late father's will and must be adhered to to the last letter. Rubbish. Thank you very much, Barrister. <laughs> I will do everything within my powers to make my late father proud. Once again, thank you. You're welcome. Please, um, in here are documents to your late father's properties. He demanded that I hand them over to you on this very day. Congratulations. Thank you, Barrister. Uh, one more thing. I would like to know if you will like to retain my service, my services uh, as a family lawyer. Or do we call it a quit here? Barrister, you have served my late father very well over the years. And I don't think any of my siblings will want you out. Not at all. So you're not going anywhere. <laughs> we still need your services. Thank okay. you very much. You're welcome. Congratulations, Sister Zara. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Me too, sis. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Okay. You know I've always trusted Daddy's decision. And I trust you do justice to the wheel. Of course. Mustafa you know, is a nice person. <laughs> I know you do great, sis. What? Jesus Christ. Are you for real? Can you see? You see what I'm talking about, right? You've seen it, right? This is unbelievable. No, no, no. How can your father do that? Eh? Even when you are the first son of the house. After all I've done. After all my efforts. My father intentionally wants to humiliate me. See, your father may have chosen your sister over you. Uh, but I think there is more to it. Yes? Maybe you don't have the best relationship with your father. Maybe something may have informed his decision. 
considering the fact that he made those pronouncements on his sick bed. Yes. Yes. Um, see, you become my man. Your father's properties belong to you and your siblings. But you should be in charge because you are the first son and not the other way around. One day, get back and call her. You have to open your eyes. You have to open your eyes. I think Ugona is right. There must be something that I'm clearly oblivious of. Come to think of it, she is that I claim that dad blessed her union with that fool and asked them to live in, the, in this house after their wedding. Then came the barrister with his own claim that father gave Chisa the right over everything and died immediately after. If all these claims are to be believed, then it simply means that Father blessed the so-called marriage before making his last wish. And if that is also the case, then something must have happened earlier which no one is talking about. Yes, I think that it is. There is obviously something that I'm not aware of. But I must find out. I must. Bertha, who are you working for? What? Asani, who paid you to do things? Is it my sister? Or the so called husband? Excuse me? Hey, 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 hey! I'm not here for this. Did you hear what I said? I know my father too well, and I know him as someone who does not change his mind on something easily. Now answer me, how come about the video? Or was it that God? How ridiculous! Are you in any way trying to accuse me of being double standard? Do you even know I can sue you for defamation of character and, and, and false accusations? Spending that sum. You are English and your threats will have no bearing if I find out that that video was talked about. Or that you did something that informed my late father's decision in willing everything to my sister. Who even told you that your father willed everything to your sister? Where did you get those informations from? Your sister is just in charge of affairs for now. And what difference does that make? Since I had to beg cheese out for money, what difference does that make? Let me tell you something. Make sure your hands are clean. Because if I find out that you played a role in that broad day robbery, I will come for you. And I will be so hard on you. Help me. I'm not talking with you, I will come for you so bad. 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 What's 
Eh? What's happening now? What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? Eh? Mazi okay. Uh, what's going on now? What's happening? Mama, where's Papa? Can somebody talk to me now? Where's Papa now? Bros, I beg, where's Papa? Mama, where, where's Papa? Where's Papa? Your father is inside. He's inside. Go and see for yourself. Papa. Go and see for yourself. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Someone had walked in on us. What stupid explanation do you have to give for this stunt you just pulled right now? Hey, don't worry yourself. Okay, I'll handle it. I know it's an office, and I like it in the office. Huh? <laughs> Let me give it to you. Huh? Let me give it to you. You like it? I want to have it. I want to touch this thing. Stop it now. Stop it. In your widest dream, he must be in a dream island, boy. Yes. I love to dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You keep dreaming then. Now listen to me. Your mates are out there looking for meaningful things to do with their lives. Why you are here looking, looking for a woman to get on her skin? Calm down. You've got to grow up, boy. Don't insult me. Seriously. Hey, I said don't insult me, okay? Stop it. You should be happy that I want to have you. You should be happy that I want to have uh, Stop it. Stop it, okay? Don't be stupid. Don't be a stupid girl. Allow me to go there. Okay, hey, did you um did you check the files? Have you sent it? You have not sent any files there. Yes, I called you. What is this? Have you suddenly lost your voice? Explain that to me. Is, uh, I, I, I think it, it is. It is. It is. You now stammer. An audit firm conducted an assessment on you, and this is what you have to offer. Well, that uh, in, See, in aren't you ashamed of yourself? I made you human resource manager in this company, 
and all you have to offer is, is what is written in that file. Well, Father, it has not been long I assumed that position. You know that, right? So you need to give me time, eh? I, I, I'm trying my best. Can you hear yourself speak? Can you listen to yourself? Are you suggesting in any way that one year is not enough for you to know what to do in that office? But you are a master in going after everything in skirts within the company premises. Um, 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 father, with all due respect, you don't need to judge me because of the little play I had with Tony the other day. Eh? It wasn't anything serious. Of course, it wasn't anything serious. There's nothing serious about your life. Go out there and see thousands of graduates roaming the streets looking for employment. But you mess this one up that you got on the platter of gold on the basis that you are my son. And Father, there are several things you need to put into consideration. Eh? Auditors can be wrong in their assessments too. You got this job. Not because of merit, but because of sentiment that you are my son. But I will tell you, you will not keep this job on the basis of sentiment. If you continue in this manner, I will either demote you or sack you. Now leave my presence. My father, calm down, eh? It has not gotten to this, eh? Calm down. I, I, I will improve, okay? I, I will do better. All I need is uh, training. Just instruct them to, I need to go to, um, uh, I think one of our, to, to the States. Let me go and do some kind of six months training program in the United States of America. So calm down. Uh, leave my I'll presence get... before I descend on you. Leave! Okay. How can he continue with all I have built? Hebuka is a disappointment. cheated on you again and that alone is already unforgivable i know i have been selfish and inconsiderate i know i'm far from being the perfect partner but i want to work towards becoming that for you i know that there is nothing i can say now that will reverse the pains i put you through but i'm truly sorry i hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me for this betrayal i want you to know that despite all i have done I've never stopped loving you. You mean the world to me. And no one in this world can replace you. I've made a terrible mistake. That I will live to regret for the rest of my life. I will bear the body. Of any just a bit of your trust once again. And I will do whatever I can. To prove that you can trust me from now on. I am so sorry for what I did and I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Please forgive me, Ben. How did... Sonia! Sonia! Uh, hello, ma'am. When it's in the matter, I should be asking you that question. What are you planning with him? With who? Oh, please don't give me that pretentious look. You know who I'm talking about. Huh? I, 
Honestly, honest to God, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you have to do with this? Oh. Mm. Zara, listen. I, I actually... Oh, I, 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 I. Can't cut your tongue. I, I, I. Talk to me, I'm waiting. Come on, girl. I actually dropped this off in your office myself. You did what? Why? I know you are upset and you have every right to feel this way. But trust me, he sounded very sorry. Yeah. I know when someone is truly sorry and I can tell that he's very, very sorry. Okay? I don't know. I think she sounded very sorry. Like he was the other times. I don't know about the other times, but this time around, I think you should. Let's give him the benefit of doubt. I can tell when someone is sorry. I could see it in his eyes. Yeah. Honest to God. Seriously, I, I know that young man really loves you, but I can't place it. I can't seem to understand why he keeps behaving the way he does. Like, he acts like someone who is under some kind of control was I don't know what rubbish are you blabbing so because he came here to say sorry and everything is fine that settles it you think sorry solves everything that's just a lame excuse for him to feel better about himself Zara you have every right to be mad at me right you 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 actually do yeah but let's judge it from this way I know he, he, he has been a bad boy all this while. What if... I mean, what if he's What if what, Tonya? What if what? That a snake sheds off its skin has never made it lose its stinging threats. Ben will never change. But you still love him, don't you? So, what do you intend to do now? A he goat will always be a he goat. I am done with Ben for good. And please, for the sake of our friendship, don't ever pull that stunt on me again. Don't. Please. Are we clear? Noted. On God, noted. Good. Come as well. Keep that to yourself. For what though? Hello, Chief Obi. Yes, I feel much better now. Yes, I sent my son. What? He's not there yet? No. It's been long he left here. Okay, maybe he ran into traffic or something. All right, let me call him. I'll call you back. <sighs> Ibuka is not there yet. Okay, let me call him first. Yeah, it will be gone. Mm. <laughs> so, enjoy. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait.
Babe, let's continue now. Eh? Babe, 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 babe. Are you okay? Are you okay? Stop now. Stop. Don't do this. Don't do this. What is, baby, babe, babe? What, what, what is, what is going on? Babe, babe, are you okay? No, stop, stop, stop. Don't do this. What is going on? Babe, babe. Ah, he's not even picking his call. I hope he will not mess this one up for me. I hope not. Ibuka. Yes, uh, uh, Madam, we are here. Mm, nice driving. Thank you. I'm okay. happy you like my driving. Oh, I do. Yes. I've been thinking if you will be my personal cab driver. Wow. You know, my days are so busy with meetings and appointments. So, I would love you to be my personal cab driver so you can be taking me to places, you know, for the day. I, I don't mind if your price too is nice. It will be okay, don't worry. Yes, Let me give you my number so you call me when you're free. All right, okay. All right. Please call. All right, zero zero. Yes. Sixty nine. Yes. Seventy seven. Yes. Three one. Yes. Two. Is it correct? I don't know. Is it uh, up to yes. eleven? Yes. Yes. Yes, I have it. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't have credit now, but I'll call you. Please. It's okay. Yes, All right. Uh, thank you. I'm happy you like my driving. Hi. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you so much, ma. Calm down, calm down, okay, back with me, eh? Now it's not for leftovers, eh? Wow. See your own here. My guy! See your own here. Come with there. <laughs> My guy! I'm telling you. Ah! Ah! ah. No, no gas cord. Let me, let me trust. No, drink from bottle. That was your own. That was your own. No shaking, no shaking. Um. Mm. You see, eh? This is good. I'm telling you. Today, eh? Ah! Ah! So, it was good, though. They were so good. Can you imagine? Mm. Mm. So, there was a good day. Ah! So, tell me. What made today good? Today, mm. I made over 10,000 naira from tips alone. 
You don't say a loan. Ha! Ten thousand. Over ten thousand naira from ten thousand. Not my girl, no tips. Hmm. Yes, so. Uh, so now I now met these two people. I said they needed my service. I said, ah, no, this is the only job I do for now, you know. And he just said, no, 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 that they wanted me to pick them up in the morning and then drop them off in the evening. Ah, one, three o'clock, one, four o'clock. I'm telling and you know what, eh? What they want to pay me per day is enough for my weekly expenses. Oh. I'm telling you now, ha! My guy, hmm, the money, oh. I did tell you. You see, now, nah, I've been telling you since. I was telling you, consider this as the job. You said no. Mm. I have masters. I have PhD. Blah blah blah. Mm. But now, see, you are in money. You are making money. See food where you don't buy it now. Nah. What's that? Ah uh ah. -uh. What kind of talk is that? Ah uh ah. -uh. You don't buy this thing now. Nah, nah. No, you the crazy one. You are money. You are money. Is this kind of money? You be like, say, can I get inside this rice? Why I give you? This rice on the high you. I think. Best not go fully play again. Nah, nah. You try to say, I'm in money. I'm in money. Is this kind of life you want to live? No verse. No verse. I beg. Ah, no bigger ah. dreams, oh. My guy, uh -uh. You, money. you want to collect my food now? Nah, you want to make I cry? I'm, I'm telling you, have higher I'll, dreams. Have higher dreams. Which one is your money? Your yeah, money is this money. This is this is a stepping stone to money. Ah, uh, guy, my guy. Mm hmm. You feel? Ah, uh, as soon as you have collected this food from me, nah, 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 nah. No, no, I will throw you a river. You will see me. Um, on my body. You will cry red sea. I was separated like Moses. Don't worry. Mm. Sir, please forgive me, Father. Forgive me. Find a place in your heart and forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. Okay? Yes, you are sorry. And you think that can cut it? I gave you a huge responsibility. What did you do? Rather than go and sign a lucrative contract, you decided to spend some time with a prostitute. Who are you? I think it is high time we went for a DNA test because you have proven over time that you didn't come from my limits. Father, like I said, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Have mercy. Eh? I will not do it again. I, will, I didn't even know that the girl uh, will faint and all that. I thought, it's, I just wanted, she's not even a prostitute. I met her. I saw a nice shape, I saw a nice breast and nipple, I felt okay, let me have a nice time out with her, I'll have some few drinks, I'll go there, I didn't know that that would happen, eh? forgive me, it will not happen again, eh? please, I'm sorry. I'm it's ashamed, I'm ashamed to call you my son, take a look at yourself, you sound like a fool to me. <laughs> Very lucky that she survived. If not, I would have allowed the full rot of the law to take his course. And let me warn you, your grace period is over. I'd rather disown you before you would disgrace me in this town. Nonsense. Sorry. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Huh? I think I saw it coming. I pushed her to a limit. I know that is why she's mad at me. It's not all about her, you know. Anyone in her shoe would feel the same way. The point is that Chizara really loves you. I know that. But you know when a woman is fed up, there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. 
I think she's done this time around. It's on me. Totally on me. It's unfortunate, you know. It's unfortunate. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Are you really sorry or this is just a lame ass excuse to make you feel better? Tonya. You know how much I love Chizara. And I am sorry for what I've done to her. But wait a minute. Was she the one that said this to you? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Never mind. I would like to ask you, if you truly love her like you said right now, why did you continue cheating on her? Why did you why were you treating her that way? I really wish I have an answer to this question. Maybe because I was selfish, inconsiderate, insensitive. I thought that the love I had for her was enough, but I was wrong. I love Zara. And I will do everything within my possible best to face it. It's quite unfortunate that at this point there is absolutely nothing I can do. Because to be honest with you, Chizara is fed up with you. But that doesn't mean she's keeping grudges with you because she's not one to keep grudges. I think she's forgiving you, but she has totally moved on so i think uh, the best thing for you is to move on too she has moved on just move on learn from this make amends you know you can still become a good man i have learned my mistakes and i know that i will never repeat that same mistake again see i will do everything possible to face this I love Zara like I like I always say I can never love any other person if not Zara I'll face this even if it to take me a hundred years I will face this I will I'll do everything within my possible best to face it Where they go? Sir, sir. Turn left. Where they go? Where they go? Turn your left. Okay. Okay. What did I do? So we'll shoot you here, sir. Sir. Okay. I will trigger you. I beg. No trigger. Yeah, where can they go now? No trigger. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Sir, put your face bright. Put your face bright. Very bright, sir. Very bright. Very bright, sir. Right, sir. Right in your face. Sir, you don't go up, sir. Sir, you don't go up, 
sir, 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 sir. You know, see, no getting checked for this guy. People will see you. Yes, sir. 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 Left or right, sir. Right. Go right, sir. Right. of my parents, you understand? No ask. Sir? Straight up. Yes. Straight up. Yes, sir. Straight. Yes, sir. freaked out when I heard what happened. How come she fainted? Was she on drugs or something? My brother wouldn't know if she was on drugs before I picked her up. Though she was um, she was a bit sober before we started having sex. Huh? So what actually happened? What happened? Although I picked a beautiful girl on the road, took her to my hotel. We had a nice time together, drinking alcohol. Then after then, we went inside. I did bit of any I'm a moye bun. At first, she was a whole vibe, giving it to me. Left, right and center and trust me Odogu now I positioned her from the back nah 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 I gave it to her harder she was demanding for more I should press harder press harder Odogu, press harder okay. all of a sudden she passed out passed out just like that just like that my brother at first I thought she was joking not until it dawned on me that uh, Things were not right. That everything wasn't good. I even thought she died though. Ibuka, that would have been grievous. You were lucky. My brother. Being lucky is an understatement. God saved me. Eh? I thought I would be in prison by now. Thank God for my life, oh. Thank God for my life. I was happy when one of the police officers said that she has woken up because I went to her and back. I can imagine. Thank God things didn't turn out for the worse. My brother, thank God. For now, for now, Odogu is going total low key. 100%. I'm going low key for now. I know, I know you will say that, but can you? you my brother, me my brother, with what my eyes saw, staying low is a no-brainer for me. Ebuka, we always say that after a difficult situation, but not until you see another figure eight. Mm -hmm. You will still fall. I know mm -hmm. you now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Count me out. For real? Everything that concerns women, for now, count me out. For real? Mwa odogu. Alusiana afuaya. Anya, in case you see. Oke mwa u. Nejo oka. Ife basara umi yo. Anything that concerns women, cut it. 
cut, 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 well, cut it off for now. Well, okay, say for from now. From the boom, the for boom. I'm can't put in my mama for now. <laughs> for the boom, for the boom, boom, pico, pico. I'm gonna respect myself for now. For All right. The boom, the boom, more. <laughs> Picking up your phone, huh? Yeah, pick up your phone now. Pick up your phone. Pick up now. Nah. Where could you be by this time of the night? Oh God. It's not picking up now. Nah. Pick up, pick up. That, that's it. I, I got drunk and I, I, I came back home after taking one or two bottles. That's it. Hey, Chiki. I still need you to tell me what happened last night. I mean, I need to know. You got home drunk. I mean, you, you came home around 3 a.m. in the morning. And you are smelling, you are drunk. Which one is that one? Well, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. I told you I came back. The car knew the way home. What's your problem now? Were well, you expecting the car to be drunk too? What's your problem? Hey, Chica, I know you. You know what? I you know me. I, I know, know you. Bros, bros, you and I know you're not saying the truth. Bros, leave me. Are you my pa? What's all this one now? But anyways, if you don't want to talk, it's fine. You're I'm an adult. I'm an adult, so exactly. It's fine. Yes, I like when you said I'm an adult. Don't be questioning me anyhow. What's it now? Don't be saying I did your house. You'll come to question me one kind, one kind now. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now, wait a minute. I beg, I beg, die to bros. Sure now, let me tell you something. I got drunk. That's it. I rat came back. Ah, what else? Yes, hello. What? What? Who called you? What is it? Who called you? Talk to me now. Who called you? What happened? Hey! What is hey? What happened now? Talk to me. Who called you? Wait. I'm not, I'm not understanding what you just said. You're giving me seven days. Seven days. To take everything that belongs to me here and leave. Uh, to make it very easy for you, you are not part of us. Our father blood don't run in your vein, so you don't have anything here. But we have been kind enough to give you a plot of land uh, near the border, mm -hmm. close to that river. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. If you like the village so much, you can build your own house there and still uh, be patrolling around. But in this family, we don't have anything for you. You are not part of us. Tell you, Yidi. Uh -uh. I should live here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you give me land near the border, outskirts. Yes. We are good people. Please take it. It's good. It's a very good place. It's good. Mm -hmm. You can make fish. Can I raise you more Make money. Do you realize who you're talking to? Mm -hmm. You realize who you're talking to? Do you also realize that I grew up here? I was born here, matter of fact. All my life I've lived here. In this compound. All my life. Eh? And you're telling me to leave. Okay. You grew up here. Yes. Everybody knows that. You grew, you grew up here. Up here. <laughs> we grew up here as well. Exactly. What am I? Our late father had the whole of this land. And build the original house here. Our late brother, whom you claim to be your father, broke it and built this one. So, who lived here first and who grew up here first? Uh -huh. <laughs> I grew, I grew up here, I grew up Graduate. here. We grew up in the tree. Yeah. Up. We grew up in the tree. Mm. You have seven days, oh. We have told you seven days. My mother just died. I'm currently in mourning. I will advise we all do the right thing. Respect ourselves, young and old, and leave this place in peace. Else you will see the other side of madness. We will leave our father's side. We will leave. Uh, leave. Telling uh, us to leave. Uh, to leave. Our own company. My mother just died. Let us respect ourselves. Young and old. Live here or see the other side of madness. That's not getting mad. Let's respect ourselves or see the other side of madness. Let's yeah, respect man. ourselves okay. or see the other side of the world. Let's nah. respect ourselves or see the other side of the world. Okay. Okay. I can't do anything. All the youths, they will burn the light of here. I'm going to put them. Now, I'm going to put them. I'm going to put them. I'm going to put them. Who is he? It's my way here. I'm going to put them. I can't do anything. Yeah. Let him come. I'm going to put them. We're here. We're waiting. We're waiting for you. Yeah. We're there. I said we'll see the other side of the world. Hey! 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 Stupid people! Foolish old men! Silly men! Rubbish! You want, you want to come and take what? What kind of sense are you trying to use here? That you grew up here? Oh! You're still there! You're, 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 you're still there! Finally, the Igwe has ordered me to vacate the house and build my own. Now I know why my mother never wanted me to go to him. I'm now like a sheep without a shepherd and no place to call home. What a heartless king. All these are happening because I don't have money. No one would have dared drag my rights with me if I had money. Someone once said, only the brave and the wicked hearted make money. Hmm. Could this be true? Well, I don't have an answer to that now. But you know what? I must make money. Money. I must, must, must make you. I must make money.
Thank you for stopping for me. Me? No one has agreed to stop for me since. Uh, madam, maybe, uh, of course, people feel that it might be a setup. You know, this place can be dangerous at times. What seems to be the problem? I don't know. He just jerked and stopped. Okay, please, can you go in? Let me check. Okay. When I tell you to start, you start. Okay. okay? Start it first of all, let me. It's okay, don't wait. Start again. Ah. Madam, this is an electrical fault. If it's mechanical, I can handle it, but this is an electrical one. Yes. What uh, am I going to do now? I have an appointment in 30 minutes. Well, it's beyond me. What I would suggest is you drop this car here and then you know, later we just, you know, get your mechanic. Okay? Okay. Alright. Just have me. It's okay, close it's the okay. Planet. This place can get dangerous at times, please. I have other beautiful cars at home, just that I have special attachment with this one. It's okay, it's alright. <sighs> Madam, uh, you're done? Yes, I'm done. Okay, that's good. Wait, have you been here waiting for me? Ah, uh, yes, actually. For over an hour? <laughs> yeah, of course. Could I have gone somewhere to sit or uh, sit inside your car? Uh, no, 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 no problem at all. The car was quite hot, so I decided to come out, you know, but thanks for caring. Uh, so, where next are we going? Okay, you take me to Malcolm Hotel. Okay. From there, we'll pick up my mechanic. All right, okay, madam. All right. special about you. <laughs> nice result. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So why have you not been able to secure a job with uh, this brilliant result? <laughs> a first class graduate? Well, story of my life. I mean, uh, it just looks as if if you have a very excellent or brilliant result, the less are your chances of getting a job in this country. Pathetic, I must say. Yes. Well, I will talk to my father and see if he can create space in this company for you. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You think he will accept me? 
Well, with this brilliant results, I don't think he has a choice. Besides, he's my father. I know how to convince him. <laughs> okay. Alright, if you say so. I'll be right back. Okay. So how did it go? I'm sorry. It didn't go quite well. He said he doesn't want bloated staff that, um, I mean, to avoid owing salaries. Well, it's okay. I, I said so. I knew it was going to be difficult. Well, our hope is not lost yet. Uh, I will talk to some of my contacts and see what comes out. Well, it's okay. Um, the search continues. Thank you. Thank you. So, what do I offer you? Nothing. Nothing at all. I will be on my way now. So soon? I are you angry? No, no, not at all. I just um, got booked. So I have to remove this um, corporate dress and get into my regular work clothes. Well, thanks for the effort. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Look at it. Wow, this is nice. Where is that? It's coming. Where's Chisera? She's in her room. What's she doing? I don't know, Dad. Go get her. Tell her we're already late. All right, Dad. Hey, you're all looking back. Thank you. Oh, How are you guys? Go. So we're ready to go now. You're looking, you're looking, you're looking fitted, man. You're looking okay. good. <laughs> and you're looking good, too. I can see. Mm. Let's, just, right. let's just wait for her a little bit. Okay? Yeah, but she can't keep up now. Okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have a way of always making me laugh. You do. <laughs> you want to take me out? Mm. Okay, I'll come. I'm serious, I'll come. <laughs> um. Let me call you back, please. All right, take care. Bye. Yes. Sister so, Zara, you're not dressed already. As you can see. Any problem? We're all ready to go and Dad asked me to come call you. Tell Dad that I'm not going. What, well, Sister Zara, you... Barry, please. Please. All right, then. You have to come tell Dad yourself. What difference does it make? He said he should come call me. And I said he should go back and tell him that I'm not going. Uh, fine. You should say so. <sighs> Where is she? She's not coming. What's she doing? Nothing, Dad. She's just lying down on her bed. Did you tell her I sent you to call her? Yes, Dad, I did. But she said she's not interested in going anywhere. What? Okay, wait. That, that, let's go now. Let's leave her. If she doesn't want to go. Fine. Let's, let's go. Chizara, speak before I lose it completely. Speak! Lose what exactly, father? I made it clear to you from onset that I wasn't interested. Didn't I? And I told you, I give you the reason why you should go with us. Didn't I? Father, you expected me to go with you to a wedding anniversary just to meet a man. Come on, father. 
Who does that? This is not just a man. We are talking of the son of High Chief Daniel Mbakwe. A man every girl will do anything just to be called his daughter-in-law. Well, Father, I am not every girl. I am Chizaram. Besides, the young man hasn't even made his intentions known to me. He has not approached me. He didn't tell me that he likes me. Or did he tell you? But how will he get to like you when you are not even giving him the chance to know you? But he has not asked me for a chance. Father, I don't know what you're asking me to do. How would he see me if I, if, if I throw myself at him? He should be the one coming to me, asking me out, not the other way around. Unless, of course, you want me to become wayward. Excuse me, Father. Welcome to my humble abode. Uh, welcome to my humble abode. Well, nice place you have mm. here. I mean, it's not that bad. Did you just say nice? Please stop patronizing me, please. I'm not! I mean, from your description, I expected something worse, but... This place is not that bad. Please, there's nothing nice about this place. Please, um, am I allowed to say make yourself comfortable here or here? Sure. You know? Yes. Thank you're you. Welcome. You're welcome. Yes, so... Um, you said your friend owned this place. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, he was actually the one who brought me to the city um, and also introduced me to the taxi business I do. You know, he sold all his property to me. He has relocated to Port Harcourt. But I said I should hustle with this taxi business until I find a good paying job. Good friend indeed. Yes. So, what do I offer you? Well... Uh, you can offer me yourself. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Girl. Oh wow. Today seems like a happy day, right? I can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud nine. It must be so close. Describe how far your mind have wandered off to. Really? It's that evident? <laughs> Too conspicuous Can't for see. even the blind to notice. It's AGK, right? <laughs> I knew it! No, I knew it. Yeah, because it's obvious for one to say. Yeah, all the signs are there. But I want to ask you. Don't you think you're falling so fast in love with this guy? Why do you think so? Because I don't want him to be another Benjamin or even someone worse than him. Sweetheart, AGK can never be another Benjamin. I mean, I was with Benjamin for more than two years, yeah, before I found out about his infidelity games. So, you see, it's not about how long. See? I know, right? I'm just being concerned. As your friend, you know. Baby girl, you've been through a lot. You shouldn't let this one, you shouldn't let anyone hurt you. So, if you ask me, I say you give it time before you fall so deeply in love with him. <sighs> so you don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Listen, you're my best friend. You're looking out for me, you love me, you care about me. I know and I appreciate all that, okay? But trust me when I say that this is the real deal. 
This one, I am sure of. Hmm. Okay, yes. I mean, the love is there. It's genuine. It's the affection, everything. Mm -hmm. It's glaring. It's oh, dangling. Wow. I can see it. It's right in front of me. <laughs> there we go. You know one thing I've noticed about people that are in love? They are very difficult to convince. Oh yes. My own is, I just want you to be careful. And you have to promise me that you be careful. Listen. I appreciate you for caring and for loving me. But, sis, trust me on this one. Ejike loves me and I... I love you too. <laughs> and yes, I'll be careful. I promise. <laughs> Girl, it's not about you. It's about him because your heart is like, it's so pure like that of a baby. Okay? I just don't want a repetition of what happened with Benjamin. Again. Alright? Not to the AGK. It will happen again. I will support you 100%. Thank but please, please, be careful. Who is that? Who else? Ben Benjamin. <laughs> Talk about the devil. daughter. How are you? Fine, thank you, Dad. I know you must have had a hard, long day in the office. You can say that again, Dad. And how was your day? My day was beautiful. <laughs> well, I know. I don't sit down and have a drink with me. Dad, what's going on? Must something be going on for your daddy to be happy? Don't I have a right to be happy? You know what I'm talking about. This is not your regular mood, so out with it already. All right, sit, I'll tell you. Okay. Right, Father, I'm seated mm. and all ears. Hmm. Do you remember Chief Dr. Richard Wohiri, the Ebubetike one of Mbano? The one we met three weeks ago? Exactly. Okay. I was with him today, and we had this lengthy talk about his last son, the one who owns CC Construction Company. Interesting. So what about him? Good question. He had this very interesting proposal. About the company? Who is talking about the company? Although, if the proposal goes through, it will be of great help to the company. And I'm sure it will. What about them? Yes. He suggested that um, his contractor son gets married to you. What? What do you mean by what? Isn't this good news? Tell me, Dad. Because I obviously missed out the good part of the news. Come on, Dad. How can you do this? Two men sit to propose, I mean, arrange marriage for their children in this day and age? Come on! Even when the persons involved doesn't know each other or have probably sorted out their lives. No, no, no. Let's get one thing clear. They don't know each other. We're already family friends. All it needs is just for both of you to be connected. And that's all. This aspect of sorting themselves your life's out. 
That's what I don't understand. Because the last time I checked, you had nothing serious going with anybody. That means you have not checked recently, Dad. Because I am in love with someone special. What? You heard me, Dad. If you'll excuse me, I've had a long day. I need to freshen up. I said 40 minutes now, I've not said anything. What did I do? I love it. It's not about you. Then what? It's my father. Your father? What did he do this time? Same old story. I mean, he wouldn't let me rest in the house simply because I refused his marriage arrangement with his friend. So what are you going to do about it? My love, I think it's high time I introduced you to my father. Huh? <laughs> you want me to meet your father? Yes. <laughs> do you have a problem with that? No, but will he like me? Of course, my love. He doesn't have a choice. I'm an adult and no one has the right to choose a life partner for me, not even my father. If you say so, if you say so, I mean... Uh, if you say so... Yes, 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 baby, I say so. Right, okay. Um, so when do you want me to come? This weekend, please. I mean, that's if it's okay by you. Of course, it's okay by me. Even though I have somewhere to go with my friend, but I'll cancel, you know, so my baby can be happy. So can she smile now? Okay. <laughs> uh, are you happy? Yes. Good. <laughs> Good. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. Always, <laughs> my love. What? Well, um. Something nice has to be on the menu. What are you talking about? Let me lock the door <laughs> first, you know. Yeah, no. You have not touched your drink. Why? No, 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 I do. I don't need it now. Um, where's your father? He will be with you shortly. Okay. Drink, please. No, 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 please. I mean, oh, here he comes. Welcome, sir. Um, good afternoon, sir. Father, this is my friend, Ejike. I've told you about him. Ejike, this is my father, Chief Izuku. Uh, sir, uh, indeed, it's a pleasure meeting. Sit. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, like I said, it's it's uh, a huge pleasure meeting you. I've heard quite a lot about you uh, from your daughter here, and I must say I'm highly elated to be in your presence, sir. Of course you are. Yes, sir. What do you do for a living? Father, he's a... Hey, she's a... Allow the young man to speak for himself. Sorry, sir. It's okay, sir. Um, well, actually, sir, I at the moment I am uh, seeking employment, sir. That means you are jobless. No, no, no. Uh, sir, the searching, sir, not sir, sir, sir. jobless. It's okay. At the moment, I am keeping body and soul together by uh, driving a taxi uh, while I seek uh, employment, sir. I see. Yes, sir. Please, can you excuse us for a moment? Very well, sir. Thank you, sir. I know a loser when I see one. Father, that's not fair. He's only looking for a job. 
No, he's not looking for a job. He's only acting as if he's looking for a job. How would you know that? I see it in his eyes and the way he carries himself. He feels entitled. I've seen his type over and over again. Father, stop. You barely know him and you're being judgmental. AGK is not what you think he is. He's not a bad person. Why are you so defensive? I am standing up for him, Father. Why? Because I know him. He's a good person and you're not being fair to him. Or more like you know deep down within you that he's not what you want him to be. Father, he is all I want him to be. As he is or as he will be. Both. <laughs> as a father, I can only advise you. But you see that boy, he doesn't look like one that will be able to pull up his weight. Father! That young man is a clock watcher. He will never amount to anything good. He is such a... Father! I love him and that's all that matters. The earlier you begin to accept him, the better for all of us. Because there's nothing you say that will make me change my mind about him. Excuse me, Father. Jesus. My love, you can't continue like this. You've been moody since I got here. It's obvious your father doesn't like me. It's not about likeness. My father is overprotective of me. He doesn't necessarily hate you. That man doesn't like me. I mean, did you see the fire from his eyes? The hatred. I mean, the fire was burning like a furnace. You know, I no. I mean, he gave me the worst embarrassment I, ever. I understand, my love. <sighs> I felt embarrassed too. That's why I didn't follow you immediately. I had to wait behind to confront him straight away. But I tell you what, everything will be fine. Very soon he will give in. If he doesn't give in, what will be our fate? He doesn't have a choice than to give in. He has controlled my life since I was born. It's high time I took charge. This is my life we are talking about here. Listen, that man I saw, <laughs> he's not a pushover. There's nothing that will convince that man with ease. He wouldn't give in with ease to nothing. My love, like I said before, he doesn't have a choice. I want what I want. I want you and that's fine. Okay? I'm sorry for what happened today. I'm so sorry. Please. I love you. And I love you too. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious about it. No, I'm not joking. Yeah, I'm not really joking. missing words. Oh, babe, who just called you? Who else? Benjamin. I don't know why he doesn't want to let me be. Well, it's actually very obvious. I mean, you're an angel and nobody wants to lose his um, angel. Well, it's late now. Okay, he's just wasting his time because I have moved on to a better man. <laughs> Which brings me to a question. Um, sincerely, tell me the truth. Am I the reason you don't want him no more? Well, after he did all he did to me, I... 
I didn't intend to accept him back. Yes, no matter what. But when you came into my life, you wiped away all the memories and thoughts of him in my head. Okay. And right now, baby boy, you are the only one I think about. You and you alone. <laughs> well, this is the part where I get to blush, right? Yeah, you're allowed to blush, <laughs> but don't cover your hands and face. <laughs> okay, all right. You know, the thing is that, you know, with you has always been one kind of journey that... <coughs> you, want you want water? Let me get you water. Sorry. <coughs> no, 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 no. My inhaler is on the... Inhaler. Use the inhaler. Yeah. Oh, no. See, I have been through tough times, but you came in and changed everything. I have been bitten by the sun, the rain, but your love came in like an umbrella to shade me. The shade you gave me has given me soccer in life and hope. I have been through drowning in agony, in fear, in tears. But you brought me to the shores of hope, happiness, joy, and futuristic goals. Now here's my question. Will you bring all those compassion and love to be with me under one roof? Will you marry me? Please. <laughs> yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> Hey. Uh, yeah, very well noted. Oh, okay then. Um, hey, hi, Tony. Hi. Hello. I will call you back shortly. Yeah. Sarah, you are just coming to work by this time. You're late, girl. Is that how to say good morning to the latest bride in town? No way. No, no bloody way. <laughs> he proposed in a unique way and I said yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I know. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Uh -oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, who is going to be your chief bridesmaid? Me, of course. No. No. Wait a minute. Did I just hear you say no? Okay, who then? <sighs> My best friend. Wow. <laughs> My best friend has another best friend. Oh, wow. So you now have another you call her a best friend? Yes, I have just one best friend. And her name is Tell 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 Tonia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just caught it off. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> me. Just stop. Like seriously, you got me there. You you actually did go. But girl, what were you thinking? I'd rather call off the wedding than have another be my best friend. I mean, uh, you're a great friend. I can never wish for another. Oh, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so sweet of you. Oh my God. And listen to me. I can never trade you for another. All right? Listen, today is not about our friendship. Come on, it's about your proposal. You are about to be a wife. Yes, you are a bride to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's talk about something. Yeah. Shall we you need to give me the full story, like the news in detail. How, how did you propose? How, how did you propose to you? I'll do all the telling in my office. We'll talk and drink. Let's go. I think I in you. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is good news. Oh, I'm coming. I can't take it anymore. This is man's inhumanity to another man. Why would you humiliate my husband to be like that? This is the third time and it's no longer funny. It's not. Jesus. So you not talk back at me? Can't you see what that lunatic has done to you? Oh, father, please. Don't even go there. Don't change the topic. You know that AGK has nothing to do with this. Edgar has nothing to do with this. And so what? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? How could you be defending that low life that doesn't know when to take a bow? Right? Someone that is not needed in this family. Why can't he quit? How can he be coming here knowing fully well that he's not well? Oh, shut up and stay out of this. I wasn't talking to you. Look who is talking. If AGK is a low life, what would you call yourself? Are you comparing Ejika and I? Ah, Ebuka. A Luciana Fuaya. Hey, better take again. Oh, please, don't be deceived. Comparing you to Ejike would be a slap on his face. And I will not do that. Shut up. Did I waste my money to train you only for you to end up with a pauper? Father, he is not a pauper. He is hardworking. He earns an honest living. Unlike some people that has been spoon fed from infants to adulthood. Rubbish. Are you referring to me? Whatever your small mind tells you. Enough of this. Enough. What are you ranting for? That I poured AGK a glass of juice? Let me tell you, if I ever see him in this compound again, I will shoot him and hand his corpse over to the police. You will do no such thing, father. I love him and I will get married to him. And no one will stop me. And please don't stay over your dead body because you're not ready to become orphans yet. Excuse me. Move! Father. It's a very mean thing to say. It's the truth, Father. You mean, after all this time, you still blame your mother for her death? Yes. Yes, I blame her. You want her not to keep that pregnancy. Even the doctor advised her against it, but she refused. She said, 
over her dead body. At the end of the day, she died. She died making you a widower and saddling me with younger ones to take care of. At age 12, when I needed someone, a mother, to take care of me. And you think, because of that boy you want to get married to, you had to bring it up again to force me into giving you my blessing? I love him, father. I love him. All I ask is for you to bless our union. Please. Please, Father, bless our union and I promise you will never regret it. I can't. She said I can't. All my life, I have done everything you asked me to do. I have obeyed you. I didn't read medicine and surgery because you asked me not. I remained a Catholic because you forbade me from leaving the Catholic Church. I didn't date. Ibanga 18 because you said he was from another tribe. Father, I obeyed you, even though it broke my heart, but I obeyed you. I have done everything you asked me to do. I am just asking you for just this one. This one. Father, please do it for me. I love him. He is the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Please, Father. I beg you with everything you hold it. Please, Father. Please. And how are you? And you look at what are you doing in my office? What else? Other than to see your beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Listen, if you don't have anything serious to say to me, please leave. As you can see, I've got work loads to attend to right now. Hey, welcome. Uh, Excuse me. me. I know you want me as much as I do. Yes. So stop being here strong and comply. Eh? And stop gassing yourself up, young man. Comply to what exactly? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Wait. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Listen, I'm being very serious right now. I need you to leave my office at once and do not for the sake of your own life. Try this again. Do you hear that? Leave my office now. Leave! Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Oh, really? I know I'm talking to Ebuka. Son of Chief Ezugu, who does not know when he oversteps his boundaries. For God's sake, can you leave my office right now? I need you to leave my office. Hey. Hey, I'm the Hannah here. Well, um... In case you've forgotten, I'm a booker. The very handsome guy that no lady receives. Oh, yeah. And you've got one right before you. Excuse you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
a Buka. I asked you a question and I'm still waiting for an answer. Um, Father, the truth is that they have blown this issue out of proportion. Huh? I was just trying to correct her, that's all. And what was her offense, if I may ask? Well, um, she did not do her job. Rather, she was busy having a nice time on phone with her boyfriend. And that did not go down well with me, so I have to take it personal with her. <laughs> so you decided to pin her against the wall and was trying to rape her? Mm -hmm. Father, I did not rape her. I wasn't even trying to rape her. Eh? Like I said, they have blown this issue out of proportion their words to you and most of their words are lies eh? how, how will i rape someone in my father's company how is that possible you have tested my patient far too long and i will no longer let it slide you are hereby suspended indefinitely as head of human resources Father, isn't this too 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 harsh? Isn't this too too much? Eh? What, what, what did I do? What did I do? Eh? I was just trying to correct and uh, punish an erring staff, and you are suspending me. Sexual assault is a punishable crime. And I would have handed you over to the law enforcement agency. But for Tonya, who pleaded on your behalf. But let me warn you. If I ever see you one inch close to that lady, you will know whom your father is. Now get out of my sight. This is too harsh. This is not nice. This is not nice at all. Huh? Eh? Why will you listen to her? So you're believing the words of a stranger rather than your own son, right? Okay. 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 Suspension. Okay. Problem. Okay. Suspension. Get out of my sight. One day. How could your father be that man? Eh? Why would he suspend you over this? Why? Okay, see me. Eh? Go. He always takes his personal anytime he sees me with that girl. And to that, I'm beginning to suspect him. I think he is having a thing with that girl. That only explains the girl's insolence towards me. See, I share in that idea. Uh, it's clear now, it's clear. This is why she has been rejecting you and insulting you. Eh? Uh, it's obvious. She has been sharing beds with your father. Yes. To think that my father would punish me because of his mistress is so disheartening to say the least and I won't allow that slide I will never allow that slide so what do you want to do now if my father can suspend me from the company because of his mistress then my inheritance is at stake. Yes, now. I'm not yes. going to keep quiet. I must do something. I must do something. And that will be very fast. 
Uh, well, um, Ibuka, I don't know what you have on your mind, but you have to be very careful. You know your father can be very smart. You understand? You know. Yes. He won't see it coming. Okay. It's time to take over. Omo ba Luciana afuaya. Okay, mo na joka. Ebuko dogo. You see, I am solidly behind you. One day. If I go outside and wait. Thank you, sir. Why must it be him? We can't find another? Father, we should be happy that he came up with such a brilliant idea within a short period of time. Why should we find another? Because I'm not comfortable with him. I am not. Father, why are you not comfortable with him? We are lucky to find Okechuku's replacement without stress. Chizera, I hope this is not a ploy to bring him closer to the family. Because it won't work. You have failed. Father, whether you like it or not, he is already close to the family. He's my husband-to-be. Listen, Father. This is a federal government contract we are talking about here. Don't risk it all because of sentiment. I just, I just hope it works out. I hope. Father, have I failed you before? Trust me on this. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's go. See what I told you. Ejike here is the best. Ha! Such a wonderful performance. <laughs> Chizara, this is just the first part of everything. Nothing has been done yet. But father, you don't need a suit to tell you that we are going to win the contract. I mean, the minister was all smiles. Well, let's wait it then. But if I will advise you, please concentrate on your driving. Father, I'm driving.
please. I'm alive, huh? How do you feel? Darling, like I said, I'm alive. How's your father? How is he coping? Honey? Honey? I'm afraid he's not coping well. Well, what do you mean? My father is in coma. What? Coma? Oh my God. Coma? <laughs> Let me go and see him. Ah! Please, 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 please don't go. Just... No, no, I, no, no, you, you have to be strong first. No, you have no, to be strong, please. No, I have to see him. No, no, you oh, can't no, even walk no, properly. Please, you have to be strong first. Good. Koma. How are your siblings? They were here earlier, but you were sleeping. They went to see my father. It's okay. Honey, it's alright. Everything will be fine, okay? Everything will be fine, please. Alright? Okay. you ashamed of yourself? Huh? A grown man seated in his father-in-law's house doing nothing and you do not even have the pride to contribute anything financially. I'd like to remind the person who asked me this question that I am here because I simply respect the wishes of my late father in law. Now let me ricochet that question back this person, you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? What? Aren't you grown enough to have your own woman? Have your own wife? Aren't you ashamed? Hey, 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 shut up. Look at this old fool telling me what to do. Who are you? Who are you to walk into my father's house and tell me what to do? Eh? How is that your business? My business is I've had enough, okay? I've had it to hear. I've had enough. Enough, Ebuka. Enough. What is it? I will not take your insults anymore, alright? I've had enough. Nonsense. Yes, nonsense. You've not seen anything yet. You are in my father's house. Go to your father's house if you want me to respect you. Did you hear what I said? I will kick you out of this house. Even your wife will not stop me. Well, I'll tell you I've seen toothless bulldogs, but we all with dreadlocks right now. Oh, really? Yes, real. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I will show you. I'm going to work in more about Luciana for I am. Mona Joker, I will show you. You must leave my father's house, whether you like it or not. You must leave my father's house. If you don't want to leave my father's house alive, I will take you out dead. I've said it, and you heard me loud and clear. I have had it up here. I am tired. 
I am sick and tired of his uh, vapid behaviors. I hate that idiot with passion. I hate him. Speaking without actions make no sense to me. Yes? How do you mean? Ebuka, back up your anger with actions. Back up your anger with actions. See, it's time to take over one day. Take over. Eh? You are the man of the house. And not the one that eats the leftovers. You have to open your eyes. I, I always... Hey, 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 it's okay. So what do you have me do? Answer me, what do you have me do? Eh? Tell me all you want me to do and I will go ahead and do it. Speak to me. Answer me, I want to hear you. All right, I have an idea. Which is? See. Why are we delaying? Why are we delaying? This is what I have been looking for. Baby, what is it? You're not looking bright at all. What is the problem? I have a bad feeling. Bad feeling about what? You know... About your brother. Ibuka? Yes. Okay. What about him? I mean, he's not saying something evil. He he wants to take over everything, you know. He, he, he wants to take control of your father's properties and, of course, his estate. Yes, and he's, he's not saying something evil. I just know that. Why will he think such of my brother? I mean, it's very obvious. I mean, his attitude. You know, the, the way he talks recently, I mean, the words emanating from his mouth, it's very obvious, isn't it? He hates you. He hates you and, and he's up to something. He's up to something. I mean, he would do any and everything to take control. I, I know that. My instincts don't fail me. So what are you saying in essence? My love, I'm saying you should be careful. Please be careful. Ibuka wants everything to himself. And you're the only one standing in his way. Demand an explanation now! Young man, I'm talking to you! Explain to me! Why did you do that? Why did I do what? What is your headache in this? Listen, Ebuka. If you think I will sit back and watch you milk this company dry, then you have to think again. This is not the first nor the second report I'm getting. Dad put me in charge. Ebuka, I am in charge! A position I will take back soon. And by that you mean? 
I mean that you manipulated and wangled your way into my inheritance. And I am out now to correct it. I don't even care whose feather will be ruffled. I think I'm trying so hard not to take you serious. Don't let me take a decision on you. Because if I do, you will regret it for the rest of your life. Jesus, my own decision is coming. And it will hit you so hard. Watch and see. Rubbish! What just happened here? Did Ibuka just do what? That's why I called both of you. I believe it's the only way we can save our father's company from whatever evil Ibuka is planning. Do you have anything to say? But Sister Zara, are you sure Ibuka is capable of such evil? Well, his words and action have become too strong for me to ignore. He's made threats upon threats. And knowing Ebuka and how desperate he can be, I decided to act than do nothing. Well, Sister Zara, are you sure this is the best decision we have? Don't we have other options to explore? Like? Any suggestions? Not really. I don't have any. But I think we should give it some time. I don't have any suggestion either. In that case, we'll go with the only option that I have. This is temporary. And you don't have to let Ibuka know what we're planning. Like I said before, the aim is to save our father's company. Do I have your support in this? Yeah, even though I'm a bit skeptical about this, but you have my support regardless. Me too, big sis. You have my support. Thank you. I'm glad I can count on both of you. Honey. Yes? I want you to be part of the company fully. I want to make you the head of account because I want to put a stop to my brother Ebuka taking money from the company at will. Are you sure that's what you want? Mm hmm Okay. If my dear wife says so, then I am ready. Okay. Yes. Are you also ready to be a father? Are you pregnant? I was having this feeling, so I checked and it was positive. What? <laughs> mm, baby, I, yes! Yes, yes! I told you it was going to happen. I told you, I told you, just calm down. Just calm down, but still, I'm going to confess, really. I mean, like, you know, I miss my encouragement. You know, I was a little scared because, you know, you had a series of miscarriages, so I thought maybe, you know, you weren't going to give, you know, Get pregnant again, you know, but thank Baby, God. how can you say that? No, I thank God God is able to put another one. Yes, I I, I know I will have my babies. I mean, I love children. I know. And I am sure that this one has come to stay. Of course, I believe so. And uh might be twins. Twins? Mm -hmm. Just twins? Only twins? I mean, we're talking about maybe three plays, maybe quadruplets, maybe sex to place, you know, maybe just keep going on and on and on and on, you know, maybe you can get to like 12, you understand? Keep going, make it 20, because 
at the end of the day, you're the one that will carry them. Uh, there's nothing there now. I mean, taking care of one baby is equal to taking care of different babies. I mean, it's just the same principle. There's nothing there now. Really? Yes, yes. Really. We don't know how difficult it is to carry one baby. And you don't know how difficult it is to put in one baby into a woman. Uh, do you know how packed you should be to be able to, you know, you know, fill up that garage? You understand me? <laughs> Did I just say garage? <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. Joking. I'm not joking okay, I'm you. sorry. I'm sorry. You know, Mama can't see. You know, Mama can't see. Mama come, come. Mama come, come. That's the funny vibe. Mama come, come. I like the sound of Mama that. Mama come, come. Funky fried Mama. I love you, baby. I love, love you. Too. This one is happening. It's happening. I'm sure. I'm sure. So, Barista. I want to give my husband the power of attorney over my late father's properties. So, why will you take such a decision, Tiza? You see, my brother Ibuka, he wants to take over by all means. Yes, and. Um, He's made it clear that uh, he's going to disinherit us. That's if I'm going to be alive. <laughs> he's made threats upon threats, so... <clears throat> really? Yes. You see, I'm the only one stopping him from taking over. So... Knowing how desperate Ibuka can be, he can go to any length. Even if it means taking me out of the way. And you want to give your husband the power of attorney over your late father's properties? Yes, Marista. What is wrong with you? How dare you barge into my office like that? Have you no respect? What nonsense! So, you brought in that your so-called stupid husband into this company, right? You've succeeded in doing that? Do you have a problem with that? Oh. Ah. I see. <laughs> So it's now obvious that you want to prioritize everything with that idiot. Up here? Right? That's actually what you wanted to do. But I won't let that happen. Never. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fine. No problem. We'll see to that. But I want you to want that idiot. To stay away from my business, else heads we roll. Aha! I see he's doing his job already. Nice one. Bravo. <laughs> and what does that mean? It means that he's here to stop you and your accomplices from bankrupting this company. And from the look of things, he's at it already. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. What are, you, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, Abuka? Are, are you... Hey, hey, shut up! I said shut up! One more word from you. I will forget that I have feelings for you and treat you like an idiot that you want to be. Shut up! And you... So you... Had the guts to bring in someone, a stranger, into my company to decide my fate, to decide what I take and what I do not take in this company, right? No, boy. I brought in my dear husband to curtail your excesses. Henceforth, if you need anything, you must go through him. How dare you? <laughs> Stop! 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 Stop!
to the hospital now. Yes, I have an appointment with the doctor. No, don't wait for me. Once you're done, go home. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the house. All right, take care of yourself. Love you. Sarah, please wait. Zara. What is it, Benjamin? I'm a married woman. Married. What is your problem? I know. And you've been too harsh on me, can't you see? Wait, are you stalking me? Uh, no, um, I'm not stalking. I came here to see a sick friend. It is a coincidence that our path crossed. Zara, I miss you. Yes, I miss you. You miss a married... Stay away from me. Stay away. Zara! Zara, please! Zara! Restless. What is the problem? It's your sister. Please, I, I, have you two by any means spoken with her? Yeah, huh? I spoke with her in the morning. Same here. But uh, why do you ask? Anything the matter? The truth of the matter is that, you know, I was on call with her. Yeah, she said she was 15 minutes away from here. Okay? Now she's nowhere to be found. And, and you know, she's not here yet. I've been calling her. The phone has been ringing. She's not picking up. Switched off. Switched off. off? Yes. What, the, what off. is going on? Maybe you should try the game. Maybe network. Okay. Same thing. Could be what? wrong. Oh God, she, she knows, she knows, she knows. I, I, I can't handle pressure. What's going on here? It's Sister Zara. Our phone was on earlier. Now switched off. Oh really? Yes. Um. Um. Please. Um. Um. Uh, have you by any means spoken with your sister in the last 20 minutes? What sort of dumb question is that? Huh? 
Let's go inside. Maybe she had a flat battery or something. Let's go inside. She'll be back soon, okay? Maybe Let's go in. Right. Well, that webcam might be right. Maybe we're just worrying ourselves for nothing. Hey, 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 I said go inside. Calm down. I think she'll be back. Just give us some time. Go inside. Inspector David, right here with me is my colleague. Yes, Sergeant, Sergeant Alex. Alex. We're both from the force headquarters. Okay, what can I do for? Is this Chizara, is Zegu's house? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good. We are here to affirm your relationship with her, sir. Well, I'm her husband. Mm. Yes. Well, there has been a case of kidnap. Kidnap? What? This ID right here with me and all the important documents were recovered at the scene of the crime. Please, sir, if you don't mind, I ask you to come with us for further identification. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Yes, 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 yes. Why not? Why not, please? Oh, oh Brother Ejiki. Yes. Please, let, let me come with you, please. I'm coming with you, too. No, 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 no. Please, there's no need for that, okay? It's better you're on this side of the divide. Let me go that way, all right? Are you sure? No, okay. We might have a phone call or something. Let me go with the gentleman, please. If okay. anything, if you get any call, please call, okay? It's let okay. me know, all right? Okay. Please, gentlemen. Please take care. Kidnap. <laughs> Yes, that, that, that's him, he's back. That's him right there. That's him, that's the criminal, please. Yes. Yes, officer, that's him, that's him, that's him. What is going on here? I don't understand. What is this madman talking about? I'm Inspector David. Right here with me is my colleague, Sergeant Alex. Yes. We're both from the force headquarters. Are you able, car? Is you good? Answer. Yes, yes. And uh, how may I help you? Good. You are needed at the station for questioning in connection with the kidnap of one Mrs. Chizera. Yes, good. My own sister? You are questioning me. I don't understand. How will I kidnap my own sister? Officer, do you know what you are doing? Officer, officer, really, I don't understand why you are speaking lots of English right now. Lift this yes, man. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Right Ebuka. You have to follow us right now. Refusing to comply. We attack force. And for that prosecution. Now move it. Move now. Go. Officer, take this man away. I need to see my wife, please. I said move it. Can't you? What's wrong with you? Criminal, move it. Go, my friend. Not to worry, not to worry. Your sister will be back, okay? He will tell us where she is. What's happening? What's happening? I wouldn't know. Let them go and come back first. They're leaving me for them. I said, I don't know. This is a lot for you to already. Ibuka, I am still waiting. Mm. 
Waiting for what exactly of design? Waiting exactly for you to tell me what you know about your sister's disappearance. What do you want me to say about her disappearance? How can you describe your relationship with her? I don't seem to have brother and, and sister relationship. <laughs> Ebuka. Okay. Good. Was there any face up between the board of you to be before her disappearance? Good. Yes. We have minor issues, but um, it wasn't just too big. Yeah, it was an everyday thing. Oh, it's an everyday thing. So tell me, what happened today? Um, no, officer, I don't think that is necessary. It is. It is necessary to tell me, please. So that's what he said. He said those big words before leaving. What exactly did he say? Do you still remember? Yes, of course. Of course I do. Of course. Um, he said he didn't hit me back simply because uh, he would come back uh, uh, with a bigger, better hit and he would see what would become of me. So who else was there? Just the three of you? No, no, no. Tonya was actually there. Tonya? Yes. Who is she? Uh, the customer care officer. Uh, she was actually there before I got in. Good then. Has anyone contacted you for ransom or any other thing? No, no, not at all. That will be all for now. Do not hesitate to reach us if you hear or you notice anything. Yes. Okay. And please, officer, please, please, don't leave any stone unturned, please. I mean, try and get my wife at all costs, please. Please, I beg of you, because this house has been nothing but, you know, tears, wailing, and, you know, expectations. I mean, you can look at their faces. We are still very much on the case, and I can assure you that everything is under control. We beg to take our leave now. Please, I'll see you off. Please, thank you. Thank you. Sister Sarah, where are you? Please. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry. She'll come back. God, please bring my sister back. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Just take it easy. She'll come back. Come on. Come on. Do well to use this, please. Please. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess you're okay now. Yes, I'm fine. Good. You are with Mrs. Chizzy right now, office yesterday before her altercation with her brother. Can you please tell me what transpired? We were discussing when Ibuka suddenly bashed it and demanded to know why Mr. IGK would deny him access to money from his company. He's called me. Can you please elaborate on that? Yes. He always calls it his company. Simply because he believes as the first son of our late chairman that he owns the company. Tell me, what is Mr. AGK's present position in the company? He's our chief accountant. Mm. Mrs. Chizara brought him in to help checkmate Ibuka's access to our company's money. So what then happened? He became very angry and grabbed her by the neck before Mr. EGK came and hit him. Go on, I'm all ears. Go on. He left in anger 
I'm fretting to come back with a bigger and better hit. Hmm. Do you believe Mr. Ibuka is capable of kidnapping Mrs. Chizara? Oh, thanks to God, I don't know, officer. Oh, Mrs. Chizara has complained to me about Ibuka's incessant threat to, to her life. That is giving her concern. So, so it simply means you believe that he did it. It is not my call to make. But I suggest Hibuka should be thoroughly investigated. Thank you very much. That will be all for now. Do well to reach us if there is any information or you see anything that could help in the finding of Mrs. Chizora, please. I will. You're welcome. You told your sister you will be back with a bigger and a better hit. Can you explain that? Well, uh, that line was just a mere threat. A mere threat, you say. Tell me, was that the reason why you kidnapped that girl? Officer, I kidnapped no one. I did not do it. I did not kidnap her. Oh yes, it's true that um, Chizara got me angry yesterday. But that couldn't make me to kidnap her just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ibuka, you threatened her severally. How true is that? You're right. Yes. But, um, it was never meant to hurt her. Hmm. It was just empty threats from me. Good. Now you listen and listen real good. With or without your help. The police will find your sister. But be rest assured that withholding vital information from the police is very dangerous. Ibuka. Officer, I am not withholding any information from you. I am innocent! I know you are innocent! I can see it all written all over your face. But listen to me, in due time, you will confess, Ibuka. You are our brother. You can confide in us. Please, tell us the truth. Did you kidnap our sister? No, I did not. I cannot kidnap my own blood. I will try it. I did not. I'm innocent. I didn't. Who did then? Who kidnapped my sister? I, I, I don't know. But I'm innocent. I did not try it. I won't. I did not do that. I mean, you know me now. You know me so well, I cannot do such a thing. Maybe you have to tr trust me. You have to believe me. I didn't do it. I did not. I bet I said, I didn't try. I will not try it. But you my have, own blood. You have always threatened her. 
and you did the same thing too, the same day she got missing. Um, I mean, I know I used harsh words against her, yes, but the truth is this, I didn't mean any of those words, right? I just said those words to her to subdue her. Why would I keep that high? I did not. I, I did it. I did not say that. I'm just so confused right now. I, I don't I don't even know what to believe anymore. This is the fifth day. And nothing has been heard. I just want to see my sister back. I want to see sister she's around again. You mean no one has called to ask for ransom? And that's the scariest part of everything. No one has called. Nobody. I mean, that's it, you know? No phone calls, no demands, no ransom, nothing. No phone calls, nothing. This is strange. Ah, well, strange to you, but not to me. And how do you mean? Well, the truth of the matter is that the criminal is right there in your custody. He has no way of communicating with the abductors. Hmm. Yes. I guess you're making a point there. Ah, of course I am. I am. So please, I, I, officer, please try as much as possible to do everything you can to get my wife out of that mess, okay? Please, I, I miss my wife. I need my wife back. Mr. EGK, we are doing our best and you and I know this. Ah, please. This has to go beyond your best, okay? You have to do everything possible to get my wife out of there. Really? That's it. I mean, right now, you have to implore better actions, better intelligence. You understand me? I mean, you just have to think outside the box. Get her out of there. I miss my wife. That is my life right there. I mean, my, my in-laws are devastated. They need their sister back. Please. I can understand you said, like I said earlier, we are doing our best. And we will continue to do this until she's found. Please. Be at rest assured. Please. I want you to put a call through to me and I'll do the same here if anything comes up. Of course I will. You know I will. But please, just, just, just. I need to leave now. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Please. Please. You don't know who to trust. So just inefficient, that's it. This unit is just inefficient. Because I do not know what you're talking about. You asked me to call the people that kidnapped my sister and ask them to bring her back. Do I know who they are? Lawyer! Kebuka lawyer! Now you listen to me. I have been taking this calmly with you. But as it stands now, you want me to use force on you. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with you. to own forever. Our bed has been so lonely without you. Our 
home has been so empty without you. The nights have been so long without your sweet smile. Please come back. Please. You don't deserve to be in the position you are now. Emeka, your brother, and your sister are always wailing as tears have just been everybody's companion now. I miss you. 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 I miss you! God, I miss you! I miss my friend. I miss you. Jesus, I miss you. It's been two months now and you're nowhere to be found. I miss you. Beautiful smile. I miss our cheese. I miss literally everything. Please come back. Where are you, Chizaram? Please come back. I, I know you are not dead. I know you are alive somewhere. Please. It breaks my heart. And you are not here with me. Please come back to me. Please. Hello. What? You know, we all thought the kidnap was for a ransom. But I became really, really scared when no one contacted us for that. It wasn't for a ransom. They took me to a nearby bush and shot me after a few minutes. Oh my God. Oh my God. But why didn't they shoot you immediately? Why did I have to take you to the bush? They wanted someone to see me. Huh? I guess they are a contractor. But the person couldn't come, but ordered them to shoot me instead. Jesus. No way. Jesus. This is quite shocking. Who could that be? My dear, that's a mystery that is yet to be unraveled. Oh my God. Hey. God. Thank you. Thank you for sparing the life of my friend. I actually thought I've lost you. I was in your office crying with EGK when Ben's call came in. How is EGK? Traumatized. No one is having it easy at all. And you, Ben, you could not, you didn't even tell me, you did not even try to contact the family. That would have been a very wrong move for our life. We have to unmask the brain behind our attack first. Hi. Please, how do you feel now? I feel better. All thanks to God and Ben. And thank you. God bless you for this huge sacrifice. Thank you so much. May God be praised. 
Hi. What about my siblings? How are they coping? Not very well. Ibuka was arrested in conjunction with your kidnap. Ebera and Emeka won't stop crying like it's been difficult for everyone. You want to go and visit Ibuka? Will you come with us? Of course. <laughs> now that I've set my eyes on you again, you know, I can never afford to lose your sight. I'm very excited to see you. I'm super grateful to God for sparing your life. I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start from. I don't want to hurt you. God, thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Cause the heart is so sorry. easy to deceive. You don't know who to believe. And the one you hold so close. Officer, what is this? What's going on here? Huh? Officer, what's this criminal doing here? Can you please explain to me what he's doing here? This is a criminal that you tell me what my wife is. Has... He's here to confess. He's here to confess. He's here to confess. So why is he here? What is he doing here? Huh? Calm down, Mr. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't just tell me. Sister Zara! <laughs> Sister, what happened? Everybody has been worried. Sister, it's been hell since you disappeared. We thought we've lost you. You're almost dead. But Mercy said no. Thank God you're back. Oh I was saved with the help of Benjamin here. It's my baby. Thank you. My baby. Oh God, my baby. I, I just knew you were going to be back, baby. Thank God. Oh my God, my heart is still beating. Thank you. Thank you. I, I knew you were always going to come back to me. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was going to come back to you in the afterlife, you mean? I was driving right behind her the very day she was adopted. Jesus. My. Who would have ordered Jesus kidnap? Hi. But thank God I. I saw her at the hospital. I must track this vehicle down. Yes, I must track them down. She has been with me since that day till now. Okay, all 
right, all right, but, but, but then, I mean, everything just sums up to one person. It sums up to the fact that this criminal here in dreadlocks ordered my wife's assassination. And what are you doing in his house? You said quiet! I will not repeat myself again. You don't tell me how to do my job. I kept Chizaro here in my house in order for me to uncover the man behind the mask. To save her life. Because if they find out that she's still alive, they will come for her again. So I paid a secret agent to help track the vehicle that adopted her using their plate number. From the investigation, it was revealed that AGK here is the brain behind everything. What? What? You? Will you shut up? What, what, what do you mean by you? You! Why, why, would, I, why would I kidnap my wife? Are you, are you, are you mad? What, what is going on here? What kind of conspiracy is this? What is really happening? What, what, what's going on? Mr. Educate, shut up! You shut up? Yes. Shut your mouth up. Listen, officer. Listen, what? There's, a, there's a limit to what I can take. You I understand? Said, there's there's a, a, do you want to kick it? Get down here! Stupid fool! If I do it, if I do this to you in the station today, you, you, you will get me a kidnapper! Idiot! Fool! Mr. HK, yes. do you still want to deny the fact that you don't know this man here? You see, Mr. Hag, uh, have we met before? Bros, you calm down. I don't bust, you say don't bust, I beg. Uh, me and you now, you be scared good like this. Who, 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 you, can you send us go do this thing now? Like, who is this? I, 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 SHUT I, YOUR MOUTH OFF, MR. HK! Listen, listen. Gentlemen, this is the gang leader of the group that actually kidnapped Chizor. It's interesting to also know that they were responsible for the death of Chibizu. It all started on the very day I picked up a criminal and I went to the Aden. That was how it all started. Okay, we are here. Sure. I drive off. Hey, okay, okay, why now? That's where you go. Sir, sir. Turn left. Where you go? Where you go? Turn your left. Okay, okay, what did I do? I'll shoot you here. Sir, sir. Jesus. Okay, I will trigger you. I will beg no trigger. Yeah, what can you go now? No trigger. Oh. Sir, I'm going, sir. I'm going, I'm going, sir. I'm going. Sir, put your don't... face bright. Put your face bright. Very bright, sir. Very bright. Very bright, sir. Please don't shoot. Jesus. Sir, please don't shoot, sir. Sir, please. Please. Please, sir. Please, sir. I won't do it. Go on your left. Left. Brighten your face. Sir, my face is bright, sir. Brighten your face. Sir. So people don't go observe. Sir, they don't go observe, sir. Sir, 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 sir. You don't see no getting fed for this guy. People will see you. Yes, sir. Yeah, smiley, smile. I'm smiling, sir. I'm smiling, sir. Smile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Left or right, sir. Right. Should go right, sir. Go right. Sir, please. Sir, please. Sir, please. Sir, please. See, eh? I'm, I'm, I'm the only child of my parents, you understand? I don't ask you. Sir? Straight up. Straight up. Yes, sir. Straight. Yes, sir.
please, oh, please, no, oh, please, please. I'm mean, bros. For you, I go light you. Bros, I'm I I I Shut up! I go light you. I I shut you. up! Shh! I go light you. I go light you. I go light you. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Shut up! <laughs> I know you. I mean, we know you. This house. Your mama name Nangugu. You know Firon. So bring your mind down. You dey hear me? How did you know? How did you know? Make a chilla. Knock on the theory. You know your friend. Obara. Nala. Valadwe dasa. You live for number 19, Cree Crow, not true? See your life. Bro, yes, 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 you the yummy, better style. You see all those boys, all those wealthy boys, all those men, all those people where they carry for your taxi. You could give us their info, their details, and we go track them on how we track them. Eh? You call it them better block, better money. Your percent go be ten percent. Reason I'm man. You hear him? Yes, you go get percent. Shut up. You know, you know what money? I go light you now, Mumu. Sir, sir, don't light, but make I... You go F for village, boy. Sorry, sir. Make I just talk small, sir. Talk. Sir, sir, I mean, I'm, I'm, a no, I'm a nobody, yo. I'm a nobody. I say, I'm a child of God. I'm not interested <laughs> in this kind of thing, sir. Oh, now me be child of Satan, Abby. He said he's a child of God. Oh, now me be child of Satan, Abby. <laughs> he even say he not they interested. <laughs> Are you interested? Oh, yeah. You they interested? I'm interested. I'm interested. You interested? I'm After I lost my mother, I was met with wickedness by my uncles, so I had to take up. I had to take up the offer. I found out how soft-hearted she was, so I explored a whole lot more. Knowing her position in her father's company, I decided to get closer. He never liked me, so I decided to work extra hard to make him accept me and love me. So you planned everything that happened on that day? Seriously. Let's, I mean, the, the gunshot wasn't meant to kill him, no. But but unfortunately, he died. That's it, he died, unfortunately. And, God, I don't know how to... God. Ebuka here was stubborn, and with his behavior, he was... It was a good time to strike. I mean, I orchestrated my plans to to, to to kill you and I I I felt Ibuka was going to be the suspect after you had handed over everything to me I 
I got I got all greedy. God. <sighs> to think I quarreled several times with my late father over you. I thought I had found the love of my life. So my father was right after all. Jesus. So you used legal mandate to transfer everything to him? That was when I thought that you do anything to take over from me. He was the one that actually advised me to to hand over everything to him. That you would do anything including taking me out of the way so you can you can take over. I handed everything to him in case anything happens to me because I trusted him so much. Now have you seen where your trust has landed you? Huh? I saw it coming. I knew he was fake. But everyone, no one believed me. You all thought I was greedy. Bring out that Bring it out! Okay, bring out. Give me, give me, give me that food. Is Diamond? Answer the question! Diamond is my. my girlfriend. What? Your. 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 How? Uh, are you getting it? I mean, he has a girlfriend whom he wants her to deliver. It means he's responsible for all the miscarriages you've been having. Don't you get it? I am very sure of that. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Wait. 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 The whole thing is beginning to make sense to me right now. Because I remember the first time I had a miscarriage. He told me that that we should stop making babies. Wait. So you were the, you are the devil that has been eating up all my unborn children. Well, you have another woman somewhere bearing children for you. How could you do that to me? Is it going to you? How could you do that to me? How could you let me kill what did I do to you? Is it a crime to fall in love? How could you do that to me? Sergeant Allen! Come on, 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 come on,
Are you mad? Are you stupid? Stand up! Are you mad? Are you Are you come up with it? Are you mad? Come up with it. Are we? Are we? It's all right, Chizel. It's okay. The law has caught up with him. Please come back. Sorry. I want to apologize on behalf of the police commander over the frequent accusations and on behalf of your late father. With what has happened in this family, I think it's enough to have to teach you some lesson to be very careful with your choice of words. I'm sorry. It's fine. I have to be on my way. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, officer. It's okay. Sorry. For everything you've done. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Sorry. Thank you, doing my job. Thank you, officer. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, please. Chizara. I take full responsibility for everything you went through. If I had remained faithful, all these things wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry for making you go through this. I'm sorry for the pain I caused you. I'm sorry. I want to make amends. Yes. If only you can love me again. I want to right my wrongs. Please. Benjamin. Yes. You risked your life to save me. I will forever be grateful. Love was never the problem. Your excessive cheating was. I know. And I am sorry. I promise this time I will never hurt you again. I, I'm a changed man now. I'm ch I'll do my best to. Make it up to your promise. I love you so much. I love you too, Benjamin. Thank you. I love you too. Rina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything. Okay? Forgive me. Huh? And I love, I love this too. <laughs> really? I mean, I love that. I love you too. I'm sorry. I'm happy for you, Sister Zara. Thank you. I'm happy for you, Sister Zara. My sister, my sister. If you want my friend, you have to take permission from me. <laughs> you know. I'm so sorry for everything, okay? Take it. Mm. My strong friend. <laughs>
to deceive You don't know who to believe